Hey everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. It's Friday night. I'm gonna do some sound testing. Got the Kickstart Kids card or Kickstart Cards kid. His dad wrote an ad for him, and now he's shilling them out on the internet. I don't know if you guys have seen that one, but let me check my audio here real quick, and then we will get started. Welcome in, everyone. Like I said, Friday night. Actually, just got back from a softball game, and uh, it looks like we're doing good there. Just got back from my daughter's softball game, machine pitch. We lost again, but the team played their best game. They're learning. They're six. <laughs> so, five and six. Uh, well, no, 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 no. I take that back. Six and seven. Uh, my daughter's six, but um, yeah, they... They, uh, oh, whoops, I just shut, I just, hold on, did I just do that? Hold on, still getting set up here. So, uh, yeah, she is six, but she's been in baseball camp. She's hitting, she got a couple RBIs today. That was fantastic. We lost at a play at the plate, and I was the one that called my own team out. But when, you're, when your runner doesn't touch home base, you got to call them out because it's the right call. It's a learning moment, but proud of the team today. So uh, we are in the thick of a little league season. I am coaching like s uh, too many days a week, six days, sometimes seven. But it's uh, but it's fun. Uh, what's not fun is dealing with some of the other coaches. But they probably said the same thing about me. So hey, what are you gonna do? Who do we got in here tonight? We got the Rebel. Haven't been in a break in a long time. No, Kyle, uh, that is true. You have not. You are in break number two tonight. I um, actually have you listed as Kyle tonight, but let me switch that out for you. Um, Rebel 3353. We will get that switched out just so we have the right name. I did as Kyle A, which is your right name, I guess. We've got Iris in the house. Iris was... Uh, a spot was donated to Iris by a mysterious, wanted to stay anonymous, uh, fellow Patreon. So, Iris, you are also in break two tonight. Tom, how you doing? Hope you're well. And uh, so, yeah, in the, in the midst of Little League, I feel like that's all I do with my time these days. Um, but it's fun. And the good news is we've kind of had dry weather, so no rainouts. The rainouts are when it gets weird. So, uh, let's see. In baseball... It's hard to believe that the All-Star game is only like, what is it, like two weeks away? I think it's like two weeks away, almost to the day. Um, and we can talk about who we think should be All-Stars. The guy that's going to get snubbed is Adam Frazier, and Adam Frazier should not be snubbed. He'll probably end up making the team, but uh, the fact that he's not winning um, at the second base position is a travesty in the National League. He's far and away the best second baseman in the National League right now, but uh, not playing for, for a very good team, so maybe that's why he's being overlooked. But that's why coaches get to put in the reserves and we don't get to vote in just our favorite players. Um, let's see. Obviously, Tatis is going to be there. Uh, Vladdy will be there. We got Shohei. Shohei's going to be hitting bombs in the home run derby. I don't know if I like that or not. I, I, I actually wish he wasn't. Um, a lot of times when you get these players that are in the home run derby, they start off the second half of the season and their swing is just never the same. It's it's they because they're trying to hit too many home runs. But uh, Shohei's swing, one of these days, his arms are just – that swing is so fast and so uh, – there's so much power behind it. I, I literally – sometimes you watch him swing and you're like, I don't know how he doesn't throw his back out on every swing – and then on top of that, you're going, one of these days, his arms are just going to fall off. Uh, but he should be fun to watch in the thin air of Colorado. We had a no-no last night. I stayed up, probably shouldn't have, but I stayed up watching that. Uh, one of those, what was it? Uh, five, wasn't it like four or five different pitchers that combined? Apparently the Cubs pitching staff, it's always good when you watch the Dodgers get no-no'd, the defending champions. Uh, but... Uh, apparently none of the Cubs relief pitchers knew it was a no hitter, which I guess that's an easy way to, to, uh, calm the nerves, but nonetheless, another no, no, 
That's like 582 on the year. Uh, the sticky substance stuff, we had Scherzer getting called out. Um, I believe that the... I believe that the solution to that is to just come up with a sticky substance, uh, sticky substance that everyone agrees on that is something beyond rosin. Um, and then all the teams say, all right, we're cool with that. And then we just move on with it. But of course, baseball and Manfred are never going to figure out how to solve a simple problem. They will make it as complicated as possible. And these managers, I don't blame them for doing what they're doing. If you put it in the rules, uh, the managers are playing by the rules. So it's you can't get mad at the managers for calling out Scherzer, but it is it's it's a little lowbrow. Um the it, it's a little chicken S if you ask me. But uh it is what it is. Bethany, how you doing? We've got uh medium rare cards in the house. Happy Friday. Hope your uh boys are doing well. Stack pack Matt. Happy Friday. Steel City. Yes, you got it, man. The Adam Frazier love, of course. He deserves it, man. He's batting like 320. Yeah, uh, there was a note in Fantasy Baseball the other day that said, the Pirates better move him quick before before uh, Adam Frazier blows their chance at the first pick in the draft, <laughs> which is absolutely true because Adam Frazier is completely carrying that team. Uh, Cabrian, Hayes is, Cabrian Hayes is good, but he's a rookie. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, Vero Madagascar. We got a brand new KC Nation. The old Vero Madagascar. I love that one. Fall Creek. I, I, I agree. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. Um, and so, hey, uh, this sticky su- substance, that, that too, the sticky substance stuff is just, it's such a simple problem to solve. And it's now just fodder for every sports talk radio um, station in America. So who knows? It seems to me like saying, oh, you can't use it. I, it's, it's, you know, they've been using it forever. Uh, and uh, the bigger problem is you got to get rid of the shift. The shift is killing batting averages. Um, the fact that we've got so many no hitters and every just the shift is what's killing baseball. It ain't the sticky stuff. They people hit the ball. The problem is, is when there's seven fielders on the side of the ball where you hit, it's kind of hard to get a hit. That's something that they should get rid of. But you know, don't get rid of that. Let's let's put it all on the players and call them cheating. Well, it's not cheating if everyone's doing it. It's still a level playing field. And I actually worry that some of these pitchers, like Walker Bueller, um, Brandon Woodruff, uh, some pitchers like that, they, you know. They were using that to get a little bit of an edge, and it pitching is in its heyday right now. Uh, Trevor Bauer, you know, he just got paid eight gazillion dollars, and he was the mastermind behind hey, increased spin rate. And now he's going to end up being a pedestrian pitcher like he was before he figured all that out. And the Dodgers are on the hook for all that. So hopefully the owners say, hey, 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 like we're fine with it. It's just let's have one approved substance that everyone agrees to. And then once we agree to that, we're all fine with it. Uh, Maybe not spider tack, but a little bit of sunscreen, a little bit of rosin never hurt nobody. This is my two thoughts. So we'll see. Zach Poopa, how you doing? Don't forget Brian. Brian Reynolds is having a good year. I did not know it was a 952 OPS. That's actually crazy. All right, so here's what we're breaking tonight. Select. Tons of hits out of that. You get two autos, two memorabilia cards. Last time, last year when we broke select, it was one of my favorite breaks of the year. We should see a lot of different color, a lot of uh, the rookie patches, the rookie patch autos. And we hit a ton of good stuff in Select last year. So I'm hoping we do that again tonight. We also are mixing in a little bit of Stadium Club, one of my favorite sets of the year. I did my review. I released it yesterday. Not sure who has and hasn't seen it. However, I really think this is going to be this year's Gypsy Queen. If you remember Gypsy Queen 2020, it was just a really solid set. The autos that came out of it, 
it was kind of like, yes, there was a little bit of filler, but for the most part, like every box just seemed to be solid. So Stadium Club feels like it could be one of that set celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. So they've got some cool throwback cards, some rookie variation cards in there uh, with the original design. There's box toppers in there. In fact, that reminds me, I didn't, I knew I was forgetting a top loader. I was grabbing top loaders for select going, I'm still forgetting some. Uh, so I got to get my, I'll find them. I'll find them. They're around here somewhere. Uh, I think I'm running low on oversized um, top loaders, but I'm sure I got enough. The question is, do I have the right size? Because those ones I believe are going to be three by five oversized prints. And I think the ones I have are five by sevens, but we'll make it work. We always make it work. So, Jeremy Little, how you doing? So, who predicted Kyle Schwarber? Uh, Schwarber was always good, and he's always been streaky, and he's streaking. But yeah, doesn't he have like he's got like nine home runs or something crazy this week, this like week, or like something like the last seven or eight games? Schwarber's been on fire. He got picked up all over the waiver wires of fantasy baseball. So yeah, uh, two breaks tonight. We're going to do, this will be break one, these two boxes. Ding and ding. This will be break two. Um, in break one tonight, we have, hold on, let me pull it up here. In break one tonight, we've got Mr. J. Chez 12, Jeremy Roper. What's going on? Uh, we've got uh, KC Nation, Medium Rare Cards, Clark Sports Cards, Christy, Barry from Cards for Days, JR's Cards, Goth Duck. Teresa is in the house, Stack Pack Matt is in, and Ryan L. is in as well. Shalani, just stopping by to say good luck, everyone. Hope we pull fire. Shalani, hope you can hang out for a little bit. Um, but uh, thanks for stopping in. Happy Friday to you. So hope everyone had a good Father's Day. We're headed into 4th of July weekend here. What is that, next weekend? It's already 4th of July next weekend. Or next, uh, bah, we're a little bit farther out, but... Fourth of July week is right around the corner. I got to go out and buy fireworks this weekend. Light off a bunch of illegal fireworks in Ohio like everyone else does. They're going to legalize it, except for all the party poopers out there that are like, but I don't like how loud it is. And then you go, you're not American. You're, you, you're with the Russians. <laughs> so when the cops show up, you go, you're not Russian, are you? But the cops don't show up in our neighborhood. I normally have a um, small but mighty uh, fireworks display. I've kind of become no, known for it in the neighborhood. So all the neighborhood kids kind of start showing up around 7 o'clock, and they screw around with sparklers and stuff. And by 10 o'clock at night, the mortars are going off, and the neighborhood's falling to pieces. And then I'm out there till like 2 o'clock in the morning sweeping up ashes and shrapnel. It's the way I like to spend it. Uh, my son, however, this year's going to be a little bit different. My son... Did, and it's not because I'm the coach, but he did make the all-star team for uh, first year. He was all-star eligible. So the all-star game for our league is going to be on 9 a.m. July 4th. So I'll be up early uh, helping with the all-star team. Proud of him for making it. He's been working hard, so he deserves it. Um, but his bat, his bat, his bat's been a little off the last couple of weeks. So we got to get his bat right before 4th of July. Steel City with America fireworks. Love it. Just because, yeah, come to Missouri. You ain't kidding about that, Bethany. Yes, in Missouri, they have no problems with you lighting off fireworks. They're like, hey, hold babies, light fireworks. That's a thing that happens in Missouri. Um, that is an inside joke for the Patreons and the Discord group. So let's get to breaking. We're 10 minutes in. I'm sitting here rambling. So this is going to be break number one. Uh, break number two, obviously going to follow immediately afterwards. And let's see. Uh, sound like Clark Griswold. Um, I, I'm a little bit, uh, I, you know, to be fair, I am a little Griswoldish because I, for Christmas, my stepfather was an electrician and always made a big old Christmas light display. Very uh, Clark Griswold that... S and I have carried on that tradition. My kids think I'm crazy, but I do have the brightest house on the block at Christmas time. Um, I spend like 10 hours putting up lights and it's all over the house and it's, it's kind of obnoxious and tacky. 
which is exactly how it should be. But my kids are still young enough that I go, how the hell else is Santa going to find this house if I don't light it up and you should be able to see it from the North Pole? And they still believe that, so it's awesome. But, uh, okay, so here we go. Here's how this is going to work. You guys know how it works, but I always say it anyways. Just to go over the rules, we're going to roll the dice twice. We'll do the blue dice first. Um, first, we're going to randomize teams. However many times the dice says to randomize, we'll randomize it that many times. Then we're going to randomize the break participants, rolling the dice for a second time. And uh, whatever the dice says, we'll randomize it again that many times. Then at that point, we're going to open it up. <laughs> Ooh, I can't talk tonight. We're going to open it up for trades. And then once we've traded, uh, we'll start doing the break. If you don't like a team you got, hit up someone that does have the team you want. See if they'll trade it for you. If you both agree, then the trade is on and I will make the trade on the spot and that'll be your new team. Uh, the person that you're trying to trade with does have the right to refuse and say, heck no, man, I'm keeping that team. I want that auto. So we are going to see six autos tonight or uh, four autos in two patches, I mean. So plenty of hits to go around in both of these breaks. And I'm hoping that we get some good parallels out of select and see if we can get some of those long. I would love to get a beam team out of stadium club. There's a few different case hits you can get like the members proof, the photographers proof. Uh, so we'll see the beam teams are also case hits. So we'll see what we get there. So let's get to rolling. Winston, how you doing? Thank you for watching the reviews. Hopefully you can hang out during the live stream here for a little bit. You'll probably notice during the live stream that I do say, um, a lot more than I do in the reviews. It's the magic of editing. I did the stadium club review and I probably took out 150 ums at least. So I sound much more fluent in the pre-recorded videos. However, it is what it is. I say I'm a lot. I can't help it. All right, so here we go. We're going to roll the dice. I'm going to push this back just so we can get a good roll. So the first time we're going to randomize for teams, and we get a two. Only two times. Two times. All right, so here we go. Let's get to randomizing. There's us. Look at that. It's like Inception. All right, let's do this. Throw that over here. Here's our teams. And only two times. One and two. There you go. Cubs on the top. Brewers on the bottom. A little NL. Oh, wait. I didn't grab it all. A little NL Central. Brewers, Cubs. Get this pasted in over here. There we go. All right. And as we come back. Roll the dice again. Whoop, that one came off, but that was another two. So, only four randomizations. That, like, almost never happens. All right, so let's bring random back up, start a new list. There we go. Here's everyone in the break. Boom. Two times. One and there we go. Clark Sports Cards on the bottom. Ryan L. on the top. Get this pasted in. Open it up for trades. There we go. I'll hide this over here. So we don't get it confused. There we go. Sort it. Let me pull chat up so I can see if we got any trades going. Um, did you get my package from me today? Uh, Zach, if that was to me, I did not get a package from you today. But I'm assuming it's that Joe Adele. If you're talking to me, you may be talking to somebody, somebody else. Are the breaks uh, U.S. only? Danny, no, I do have people from Canada. We figure out shipping after the fact. So what I do is I say, don't pay me for shipping. And then normally what I do is I hold breaks back for a while. So wait until you get out to around a pound or so, a pound to two pounds of cards, depending on how many spots you're buying in. Um, and then generally shipping to Canada costs around 21. It kind of depends on where you live. Um, but if you're like Toronto area, Montreal area, the, it normally costs a little more than 20 bucks. And I just do what I, what I do is I just 
figure out what it's going to cost after weighing it and everything. And I'll just say, Hey, when, whenever you want me to ship, I'll ship them to you. It's going to cost this much. And then, but if you do it for like four or five breaks, the shipping actually kind of ends up being the same as if you bought into five breaks. Uh, but you do want to kind of, unless you want to pay like 20 bucks each time. Uh, but so we just figure out the shipping separate. So that's how that works for Canadian uh, people that break with us, but we would love to have you, Danny. So let's see, here we go. Teresa lands the Angels, the Astros going to medium rare cards, the A's to Chris D, the Blue Jays to Goth Deck, the Braves going to KC Nation, or what, or, or what did he call himself, Wero uh, Madagascar? Um, we got the Blue Jays going to got, uh wait, no, hold on, we already said that, Brewers to Clark Sports Cards, Cardinals to Cards for Days, Cubs going to Ryan L, Diamondbacks to Clark Sports Cards, Dodgers to Cards for Days, the Giants going to Chris D, the Indians to Ryan L, the Mariners to Clark Sports Cards, the Marlins to Goth Duck, the Mets to Medium Rares, uh, Medium Rare Cards, Nats to JR's Cards, the O's to Stack Pack Matt, Padres going to J Chez, Phillies going to KC Nation, Pirates going to J Chez, Rangers going to Medium Rare Cards, Rays going to Teresa, Red Sox to JR's Cards, Reds to KC Nation, Rockies to Cards for Days, Royals to Stack Pack Matt. Tigers to Clark Sports Cards, Twins to Cards for Days, White Sox, Chris D, and finally Yankees to J Chez. So we are open it. We are open for trades. We'll leave it open for a couple minutes. If uh, I'll say going once, going twice on the trades, and once we close it, no more trades. So if you are interested in trading away any of your teams for other teams, now is the time. That is awesome, Zach. Thank you for sending that along. I'm excited about the Joe Adele. And uh, I actually got a Joe Adele today. I posted it on Discord. Um, another one of those, the eBay person ended it in the AM, not the PM. Um, so a little, a little inside tip. Most of you probably know. But if you're ever up in the morning and it's between like 8.30 and 10.00, all the people that accidentally forgot to put PM or switch from AM to PM, all their cards are ending at that time of the day. Sometimes you can find some pretty good deals because far less people are shopping eBay at that time of the day than they are at night. So if you were on the West Coast, you'd have to be up pretty early. But if you're on the East Coast and it's between 8.30 and 10, sometimes you can find some pretty good deals on there. So if you're slow going at work, and you're like, I don't feel like doing this right now. Just get on eBay. Go card shopping. It's fantastic. All right. So either A, my chat's not working, or no one is trading. Everyone loves their teams. I have a feeling it's not the chat is broke. But we'll see. It's possible. let's see here um maybe it is it's always weird when like chats don't show up for a little bit and then you go is chat working hold on i'm gonna go to my channel just to check bethany i believe you are in break two um hold on i can tell you who's in break two here's who's in break two yes bethany you are in break two right there Chris Day says he would trade the A's. Um, we are not randomizing each box. Uh, because it's different sets, we don't need to do that. We were, we were doing that in the case break, or the third case break, because there's so many cards in those top series two jumbo boxes that it didn't make a ton of sense to say, here, let me give you a bunch of duplicates. I thought it would better it would be better just to go per box. But being that this has uh what is it? 128 cards, I believe. Um and then select has 60. Um we've got a far smaller card count in this break than we do in that top series too. So it's just whatever team you got, that's what we're doing for both boxes. Um and the other thing is select if you saw my review on select like every card is a rookie card 
it's amazing. Like half the set is rookies. Maybe not half, but there's a ton of rookies. It's surprising how many are in there. Mariners beating the Sox. So the A's are on the table. We have a slow. I'm going to say trade's going once. Phillies and Reds up for trade. So that is KC Nation. Moonlighting is Huero Madagascar. I have no idea what Huero Madagascar means, KC. Um, so where, where did that, uh, well, what's the story behind that name? We've got Phillies, Reds, and A's up for trade. And then who was it that opened up their box? I saw on Discord. Someone opened up a box earlier. Pulled a Juan Soto auto and an Ichiro auto out of the same box of Stadium Club. Who was that? Um, I believe that was... Hold on. It's got to be in the showing off the hits, right? Got to be. Who did that? Chat, uh, Chatty P. Chatty P with the box of a lifetime. Ichiro and Juan Soto out of a top stadium club box. One box. That's beautiful. Zach Poopa says, I'll buy one of those teams off you, KC. Yeah, that, uh, that, I mean, my goodness. The Juan, the Juan Soto, the Ichiro you're happy with, and then the Juan Soto shows up. That's even better. Let's get one of those uh, rookie variations. So, um, I'll trade you some Royals cards for it. And the Ichiro was to 25. I didn't even recognize that the Ichiro was to 25. That's bananas. That's bananas. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it the old Juan Soto. A's for Phillies is on the table. All right, so A's, it's Chris D. Phillies, it's KC Nation. And the thing to remember in Stadium Club, lots of retired star autos. The A's and the Phillies have lots of retired stars. In fact, the Phillies are one of my sleeper teams in my review. Just say it. I think the Phillies are not a bad spot at all. Zach says he'll buy anyone's team or trade. Jonathan, how you doing? Happy Friday. Thanks for joining. All right, so we're going to say trades going twice. KC, let us know about A's for Phillies. A Ryu auto isn't, uh, it, I mean, I get it. It's a pitcher auto. Um, you would rather have a batter. I get it. However, well, Ryu's got to get his act together this season, but he's been a good pitcher. Um, he's, he's a very good pitcher. I don't have one of, I don't have one of his autos. And that's kind of my big thing these days is I like getting autos that I've never seen or, or don't have in my PC. That is, that has become more fun for me. Um, then pulling an auto that maybe you've pulled a bunch of times, like, like the Jordan Alvarez we got last week. Awesome auto. Don't get me wrong. I get it. It's Jordan Alvarez. He's fantastic. It was rookie of the year. He's on a great team this year. But that being said, I have pulled his auto a lot, uh, which is good. That's a good thing. Uh, but. You know, I would take a Mike Trout, uh, a Ryu I've never pulled. So a Ryu, you, you don't see his autos as much as you might see Jordan Alvarez. So I actually claim that there's a little bit of rarity there that you don't see it in every set. So it's kind of co cool to get those. So deal, Philly, Phillies for A's. All right, there we go. First trade in, Phillies. KC Nation trading out of the Phillies spot into the A's spot. Chris, 
taken over that Philly spot. White boy, there's my childhood name. <laughs> That's my childhood nickname. And Madagascar was my nickname from a buddy back in KC because he couldn't pronounce my... Your last name's not even hard to pronounce. <laughs> like, Madagascar is harder to pronounce. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, so Zach's still trying to buy spots. So if anyone wants to sell a spot, Zach's your boy. Zach, aren't you in the next break? Hold on, Zach. You're like in the next break, aren't you? You're right here. Zach is in the next break. He's trying to get into break number one, too. Which means we will see the Ricky Henderson one of one super fractor. Yeah, it, it, it happens. All right, so. All right, I think we are going to close out. Sorry, Zach, I don't know. So there's the Giants. So Chris, you could sell the Giants, or you could say, <laughs> there's KC Nation. I, 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 I didn't mind Wero Madagascar. It's like childish uh, Gambino. It's, it's it's kind of a it's kind of a cool name. It kind of has a it's kind of got a little bit of a hip flair to it. It's that's no problem in my book. I'm just so used to seeing Mr. KC and Mama Royale. It, it threw me for a loop. Oh, Chris, PCs the Giants. Okay, so we are going to close out trades here, and we are going to get to ripping. All right, let's do a couple things here. Do a couple things. I think, okay, window capture is on. Um, let me do this. Let me do this. Oh, that's why. Wants to capture this window. Okay, so why are we not? All right, I guess we'll do this. My cursor has disappeared. That's not good. Uh, hold on one second. Like, straight up, my cursor disappeared. I don't know where it went. It's gone. This could be a problem. Hold on. Hold on. Could be a way to fix this. Funny, because it's still working. I just can't see it. It's totally gone. This is going to be a large problem here in a little bit, though. Uh... Khakis. I touched a button and now. Oh my gosh. This could get bad. This could get bad. Where'd it go? All right. Well, I'm going to make do. Hopefully it comes back. I can't shut the computer either uh, because that'll shut the stream off. <laughs> well, we'll see how that works for the rest of the night. Um, Figure out how we're going to do randomization where my cursor works, but I cannot see it. Yeah, about that. And I'm afraid to shut down. That's interesting. I closed a... Okay, so that worked. Hold on, I'm going I'm to try and fix it here because I feel like this could be a large problem if I don't. Oh, I just saw it for a second. I feel like it's because I have window capture on. Minimized it. Oh, it's asking me to save. I'll never get it to the middle of the screen. Sorry, guys. Give me one second here. This is being all sorts of janky on me. Oh, what in the heck? What? Not good when your cursor goes away. I gotta get chat back up. All right, let's just break. Let's just break. Let's do it. We'll figure it out as we go. All right, here we go. It seems the cursor's working. I just can't see it. You know when you like hover over things and it highlights? It's doing that. I just don't know how I'm going to toggle. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. 
It, it'll be hilarious. You guys will see it here in a little bit. Okay, so what do we uh let's do stadium club first. We'll put select to the side for now. Let's put select like right over here. So we won't take it off screen. It's right over here. Oh wait, no, we can't do that. That's where I pull all my top loaders. We'll put it. We'll put it somewhere. How about right there? Mike Trout, you hold that for a second. All right. Let's get to breaking. Before we break, guys, thank you very much. Um, I am not on a Mac. I'm on a PC. Um, cards for days just in time. Unfortunately, I cannot. Oh, and I got break two up. Hold on. Now I got to figure this out. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, and the problem is, no, I really do have to figure this out because I tried to close. Cancel. Oh, thank God. All right, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get through this with no cursor, and it's not working very well so far. This is unbelievable. I've never had this happen on this computer. I think the best way to do it is to just say, "There we go." Yep, do that. Off goes select. In comes opening day hobby. <laughs> yes. All right, so here we go. Stadium Club. First of all, thank you for all the patrons for your continued support. Thank you for all of the um for all of the support you guys give me and thank you for getting into the break. Hopefully we can pull some good cards tonight. We'll see. Um I have a feeling we're going to get some fun stuff tonight. Both these sets are fun sets. Great middle of the season sets. So without further ado, let's get into it. We're doing Stadium Club first. And we'll figure out the cursor stuff later. Maybe I'll start cursing. I've never seen that happen. I'm. Sure, I think it's. I. I think I hit. The problem is I can't get the. Can't get the window. I wanted to show you guys. Oh, see, yeah. Oh man, with the cursor not working, this this could be a nightmare. This could be a nightmare. All right. I've got chat up. I'm just going to go. I'm going to fix the cursor thing later. Here we go. Tops Stadium Club. And right on off the bat, we get a top loader. We get Mr. Alex Bregman for the Astros. Beautiful card right there. Bregman is the top loader. And like I said earlier, I was going to grab my top loaders. I was wondering how big the, th these are going to fit nice. So give me one second. I'm going to grab the top loaders for these. And hope there are the Hmm. <laughs> ah, I found them. I found them. They're back here. I'm going to need two of these tonight, so we'll grab them right now. All right. Sorry about that. I knew I was missing something when I started. So here we go. We start with Alex Bregman and me rummaging around. In the, what my wife says, a really bad merchandised card shop at this point, um, which maybe isn't all that wrong. So here we go. Alex Bregman, top loader number one on the night. There we go. Get in there, Bregman. Get in there. There we go. Mr. Bregman. And that one? Going to medium rare cards. That's how we'll start off break number one. Now, let's get to some packs. Here we go. See what we can get into here. Unplug mouse, plug it back in. I would love to. However, I use, I don't use a mouse. I just use the laptop. I could plug a mouse in. That's not a terrible idea. 
All right, so here we go. I'm going to shuffle this up because who knows where the autos are at. But let's shuffle it up here a little bit just to keep us guessing. That should work. Good enough for government work. All right, so there we go. We'll put these off to the side over here. And get to ripping. Jumbo sleeve. First time I've seen a jumbo sleeve and top loader. Um, yeah, they they exist. They're more for postcards, but I use them for exactly what we just used it for. So here we go. Pack number one. Good luck, everyone. Looking for some parallels. Looking for some autos. See what we can get. And this is my first pack I've opened, so I have not seen any stadium club. Did not watch any breaks today. Uh, and we start off with a rookie. Jonah Heim. And we may not sleeve every rookie. We'll probably keep the pitchers for later, um, unless it's a big one. And we also get Albert Pujols's, could quite possibly be his last Angels card. Then we get a Zach Greinke, and this is a black border parallel. So Houston, starting off hot. Black border parallel, Zach Greinke. Black border is not numbered, but it is limited. So we start off with another one for medium rare cards in that Astro spot, a Zach Granke. So our first parallel of the night. And as we continue on, we go to Luis Castillo. We've got a Gary Sanchez. Frankie Lind You're going to see lots of Yankees cards in this too, by the way. They've got quite a bit of cards in this. Frankie Lindor. And Mr. Kyle Lewis, that's a cool card right there. Look at that. That is a sweet looking. Where's Shalaney? Sub Jay Chez? Who do I have? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm having mouse issues. <laughs> um, I might have to go run and grab a mouse and plug it in just to see if I can get the cursor. My cursor disappeared. I'm hoping it shows up magically later. Uh, but Jay Chez, here's who you've got. Uh, let me find it here for you. Padres, Pirates, and Yankees. So not bad teams. Kyle Lewis, beautiful Kyle Lewis there. And we've got Mark Kana. Our next pack. Well, that one opened easy. Uh, we've got another rookie. This one for the Reds. Tyler Stevenson, beautiful looking card right there. So another rookie. That one going out to KC Nation. Where old Madagascar. All right, here we go. Tony Gonzalez and a backwards Clayton. What do we have here? What do we have here? Oh, ho, ho, how about the Clayton Kershaw Stadium Club Greats reprint rookie card for the Dodgers going to Barry cards for days. Nice one there. Beautiful. Beautiful one right there. Clayton Kershaw. Love that. So this would have been, I mean, this, I'm not sure exactly which year this was. Does it say? But again, I forget which year that is. What, what's Clayton Kershaw's rookie year? I'm not drunk. You're drunk. <laughs> All right. So there's the Clayton. That's a cool one. Nice reprint Clayton. And then we have a tri uh, uh, <laughs> triumvirate Jacob deGrom die cut. Now, this is a very cool insert set because it interlocks with two other Mets cards. And it is, so you got to get all three of them. But this is one of the cooler inserts um, that they used to do in Stadium Club. They haven't done it lately. And this one is numbered, by the way. This is a black border parallel 14, to, or not black border, but black foil parallel 14 out of 99. So this one going to the Mets. And medium rare cards. Michael, congrats on that one. So we've got a black border triumvirates numbered to 99 black parallel. So starting off hot already. All right, here we go. Miguel Sano. Alex Verdugo with, look at that, with the crazy sun in his eyes. What a picture that is. That is a sweet one. Sorry, I'm going to go a little bit slower with these cards. I love seeing them. Uh, we've got Mike Yastrzemski and Guriel Jr. Nice card there. 
Then we have in our next pack. That triumvirate's die cut inserts a cool one. I like that. Um, all right, here we go. Elvis Andrus, Adam Wainwright. We're going to have a red border parallel. This one, Diddleson uh, Lamette for the Padres. Red border. That one, go to J. Chez. So we get the red border in there. Lamette. Red's going to be the most common, I believe. Then we also have Whit Merrifield chewing on his glove. Mr. Jose Altuve. And a Tanner Hoke rookie for Boston. Clark Schmidt rookie for the Yankees. And Aaron Judge. Cool looking card there. These are beautiful. Stadium Club, man. Stadium Club's an awesome set. Yeah, I agree, Jay Chez. Every one of these pictures is awesome. All right, so this is the one that Chatty P had that was autographed. But there is the Ichiro going out to the Mariners and Clark Sports Cards. We've got the Beebs, Shane Bieber. And we have a rookie card, Red Foil Parallel, Paven Smith. Pavin Smith, Paven. Rookie for the Diamondbacks going to Clark Sports Cards. So Red Foil Rookie Parallel there. We have another one for the Cod Garden. And as we continue on, we've got Nelson Cruz and Ian Anderson rookie card. A nice one there. And our next one, another nice rookie, Trevor Rogers, Miami Marlins. Goth Duck getting that one. So there's the Trevor Rogers. Probably, would you guys say front runner? NL Rookie of the Year? Probably. Trevor Rogers. Beautiful card there. Let's see. And that's Acuna Jr. swinging, by the way. So you've got an Acuna sighting in that card. And we also have Austin Meadows and another rookie, Christian Javier. Having a great season for the Astros. That one's going to medium rare cards. Continuing on, we've got Nick Senzel. Looks like we're going to have another one of the rookies. That's cool. Um, all right, Mitch Keller. And who's a ho 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 ho? How about the Mike Trout? That is a sick, sick one right there. I wish I knew which year this was, but we get Mike Trout in the Stadium Club Greats insert. So a cool one there for the Angels. That one's going to Teresa. Teresa, congrats on that one. The Kershaw looks like a reprint of 2008. Yeah, I believe it is. Yeah, because he was a rookie. I mean, it's his rookie year. So there we go. We've got the Stadium Club Mike Trout. That's an awesome one right there. Sweet. Congrats on that one, Teresa. And we're going to have a lot of these, um, whatchamacallit, the uh, back uh, uh, horizontal cards. Alberto Mondesi, Anthony Rendon, and we've got Jock Peterson, Matt Olson, and what? It, oh, baby. How about Stadium Club Chrome, Fernando. Tatis Jr. Chrome Parallel. Awesome one there. Fernando Tatis. Loving that one. I was wondering, I saw the Tatis backwards. So we get a Stadium Club Chrome Parallel. Fernando Tatis. That one going to J. Chez. So we get the Tatis. That's sick. Nice. Tatis Chrome. Beautiful. We're going to have a horizontal card garden tonight. And this box starting off nice. Is Alejandro Kirk in the set? I believe he is, Winston. I believe so. I'm, I'm pretty sure, yes. Because he was in um, he was in uh, Series 2. 
And here we go. Here's another nice one. How about Alec Bohm for the Phillies? Going to Chris D. Still looking for our first auto, too. I mean, we haven't even hit an auto yet. All right, so we get Alec Bohm. Bohm, Bohm. Needs to pick it up a little bit, but keep in mind, he's really young. We also have Jose Garcia, rookie for the Reds. That one going out to KC Nation, Weddle Madagascar. We've got Matt Chapman. How about a Nolan Ryan for the Astros? And Esteban Floreal. Floreal. Rookie card for the Yanks. Going to Jay Chez as well. Then we have Strasburg, Brandon Lau, Lau, and a red George Springer for the Blue Jays. Springer finally back up, has not played much all season, but he's back off the IL. So we'll see if he can have a strong second half. Need a Cabrian auto, no big deal. You know, just whatever. Can we just get one of those? That would be awesome. All right, here we go. How about a Mike Trout auto? I'm due. Willie Castro. Kluber. And another triumvirate. This one going to be for the Padres. Mr. You Darvish. I'm sure Fernando Tatis is part of this one as well. You got to put all three of them together. So a triumvirate's you Darvish for the Padres going to Jaychez. And then we'll put the triumvirate next to the other triumvirate. We have Ramon Laureano, Nico Goodrum, and Ha Sung Kim rookie card for the Padres. Again, so the Padres hot right now. Uh, we have Tucker Davidson rookie card and Big Poppy David Ortiz. Look at Big Poppy looking here. Let's do that again. There we go. Big Poppy looking a little big in that. Big Poppy did carry some weight. That was always uh, it was always a thing. Didn't slow that bat down. Jaychez is breaking. Jaychez commenting all over. Boisterous. And the cards keep rolling. All right, here we go. Aristides Aquino. There's a beautiful Casey Mize. That's a nice one. For the Tigers, going to Clark Sports Cards, Casey Mize. Nice. All right. I like that one. That's a cool looking card. Then we have a Superstar Duos. This one going to the A's. This is going to be Mark McGuire on the front, Ricky Henderson on the back, Superstar Duos. And if I could get a top loader, dot, there we go. That one's going to the A's. That was a trade. So the Phillies for the A's trade. We got Alec Bohm. We got the Superstar Duo. So right now we're about even on that trade, but we'll see as we continue on. We got a lot more cards to go. We've got Sonny Gray. There's a Luke Voigt. That's a cool looking card. Uh, we've got Yoan Moncada. Eric Hosmer. And Luis Patino rookie card for the Rays. Anyone else in chat? Yeah, I know. Jay Chesmere. Just having a personal conversation here. Friday nights, I don't know what it is about Friday nights. Friday nights, people tend to chat less in the chat rooms. I don't know why. I have noticed it. Um, it's one of those things. I can't understand it. But since if you guys don't want to chat, that's fine with me. Um, hit that thumbs up button, though. Garrett Cole. Uh, we've got Miggy Cabrera and Adonis Medina. Rookie card for the Phillies. Going to Chris Day. And look at this one. Jazz Chisholm. Mr. Jazz. Rookie card. That's a sweet looking card too. Jazz Chisholm for the Marlins. Goth Duck. Goth, congrats on that one. So we've got Jazz in the house. And another horizontal card. And we've got Max Scherzer. 
Let's see. And the rest of these. Okay, there we go. Let's go like that. We've got Daz Cameron, rookie card for the Tigers as well. That's going to Clark Sports Cards. And as we continue on, two more. We've got Eduardo Rodriguez. And oh, look at that one. Red foil parallel. Honus Wagner for the Pirates. Going to J. Chez. Keeping an eye on Lightning Islanders Game 7. That's a beautiful one right there. Red Foil Parallel, Honus Wagner. What a, what a sweet photo that is, too. This is why I love Stadium Club. You don't see cards like this anywhere but Stadium Club. Jay says, can we do another break tomorrow? Got like 20 people at the house. Uh, sorry about that, bud. Tonight's the night. We're doing it. All right, next pack. Honus Wagner. Still have yet to hit our first auto. I did a great, great, great randomization on that. Okay, DJ LeMayhew. There's a cool Eddie Murray. And a backwards Aaron Nola. This is, ah, this is the virtual reality subset, uh, which takes their stats and says, this is what they would have had had the season been a full season. So there's Aaron Nola, virtual reality. And as we continue on, we've got Javier Baez, Mr. Pete Alonzo, the polar bear, Aaron Nola, Justice Sheffield, and our first auto. Going to be Ryan Jeffers rookie card for the Twins. So rookie card auto, Ryan Jeffers for the Twins. Going to Barry. Cards for days. Barry, congrats on the first auto of the night. Rookie card, batter, Ryan Jeffers. Sweet one there. And because I am left-handed, I put all the cards in upside down when they're horizontal. So there we go. Ryan Jeffers, the card should be this way. I guess, but you have to be right-handed to do, to do that. So there we go. Ryan Jeffers, our first auto coming out. So there's auto number one. Continuing on. For a minute there, I saw the red on the Minnesota and thought we had a red foil parallel, but that is a base auto. Congrats on that one, Barry. Uh... If you don't do a break tomorrow, I will. KC Nation is planning a break. Uh, isn't it Mega Boxes? Is that what you're doing? Uh, all right, we got Nate Pearson. Rookie card for the Blue Jays going to Goth Deck. And we have a Robin Yount. That's a sick one. Um, and a Manny Machado virtual reality. The Machats figure out. Let's... Let's look on the back and see how many home runs they say he would have had. He would have had 43 home runs in 2020, according to virtual reality. Really? Machado? No way. Maybe. All right. Zach Granke and Tariq Skubal. Sweet Dave Winfield for the Yankees. Jami Jones. Look at that one. Look at that hair. Jami Jones. Rookie card, Orioles. That one going to Stack Pack Matt. And we have our second auto. And this is another rookie card auto. This is Ali San Sanchez for the Mets. Going to medium rare card. So our second auto of the night. We get two more autos in the break. But this will be the last auto out of this box. This is an Ali Sanchez. This one also a base. But an Ali Sanchez. Rookie card auto for the Mets. So that one goes to medium rare cards. And we still got plenty of packs left too. So both our autos out. Now we're looking for parallels. Two rookie card autos, two hitters. We'll take that. All right, here we go. John Means, Thurman Munson, and a black border Tony Gonzalez. For the Dodgers. Come on. There we go. That one going to Barry as well. So Barry heats up here towards the end of the first stadium club box. Tony Gonzalez, Black Border. And we have Jorge Soler. Chris Bryant. 
Marcus Stroman. Another Luis. Oh, wait, no. The other one was Jose Garcia. This is Luis Garcia. Rookie card for the Nationals. That one going to JR's cards. And a sweet looking Brian Buxton. So we got Brian Buxton in the house. Let's see, next pack. All right, boys. See you in a bit. Jay Chez, have fun with 20 people in your house. That gives me just stress thinking about it. <laughs> I hate having people in my house. Here's a nice one for the White Sox. Luis Robert. Save these cards. He'll be back. Maybe back later this season, too. That one's going to Chris D. And we have Glaber Torres. Carlos Carrasco. Zach Gallen. Trey Turner. And let's see, a few backwards cards here. Here's Fernando Tatis again. This is the base. We got the chrome. So now we get the base as well. So there's Tatis again for Jay Chez. I do it your way too. Southpaw rules. Yeah. <laughs> Southpaws are more creative. That's what they say. Yeah, dear Molina. And we have a Josh Donaldson red foil parallel for the twins going to Barry as well. Next pack, three packs to go, including this one. We got Keston Hira, Anthony Rizzo, sweet looking to Grom. Look at that picture. That's gorgeous. Dane Dunning, rookie card for the Rangers. And who is this one? Mr. Greg Maddox. I, I had, that doesn't even look like Greg Maddox, does it? Him with glasses looks different. There's a nice Greg Maddox, though. Like that one. Then we have Blake Snell, Kevin Kiermeyer, and how about this one for the Cardinals? Bethany will like this one. Bob Gibson, red foil parallel. That is a sweet one. Who's got the Cardinals? Cardinals. Barry. Barry with the Cardinals, too. Lands the Bob Gibson. Sweet card there. Congrats on that one, Barry. And we're going to put that right next to Honus Wagner. A few legends, a few Hall of Famers staring at us right in the middle. May just wait until my 2020 uh, Tough Series 2 Hobby Box comes in and just add that along with two Bowman Megas that I have now. We'll have three. <laughs> May end up ripping one tonight. Pennant winning shirt in the Maddox photo. Yeah. Um, all the photo. God, I mean... There's Cole Calboom looking mean. I, I always call him Cole Calboom. That's what they called him on the Angels. Cole Calhoun. Justin Turner. You got a Brooks Robinson. That'll make uh, Jeff Pullins will like that one. There's a Bo Bichette. Nice little second year Bo Bichette there for the Blue Jays. And we have Trevor Bauer and Josh Bell. Andy Young, rookie card. Diamondbacks going to Clark Sports Cards. And our red foil is going to be Mr. Brandon Nemo. Nemo. The kid on our I have a kid on our baseball team. His name is Nehemiah, and we call him Nemo. Um the kid's got it. When the kid makes contact, man, he hits it a million miles. But it's one of those swingers that just, I mean, he swings for the fences every time. Got to make good contact, but he's he's working. I love it. All right, here we go. Dylan Bundy. Bruce Star, greater all. Randy Arozarena with the iconic tapping of home base. That is a sweet card right there for the, for the uh, Rays. We've got a Sam Huff rookie card. Also for the Rangers got the rangers in this that's medium rare cards and we've got yelich and our backwards cards will be buster posey mr hank aaron sweet one there and our red foil which will be the last card of state of the stadium club box going to be an ian hap red foil parallel for the cubbies going to ryan l all right so that is the stadium club box very cool box so let's see here. Let's get 
cleaning up just a little bit. We'll go over the hits, work around the microphone. Sorry for hitting the microphone there. Um, go over the hits here real quick. Hit these off the brake mat. All right, and so here's what we ended up with. Go like this. <laughs> we'll just grab them. We'll just grab them. All right, so here's what we end up with. First, Jazz Chisholm, rookie card. Zach Greinke, black foil parallel. Tony Gonzalez, black foil parallel. Denilson Lamette, red foil. Casey Mize, rookie card. Superstar duos, Mark McGuire. The Fernando Tatis Jr. chrome variation, sweet card there. The Clayton Kershaw, Stadium Club greats. Reprint, Alec Bohm rookie card. Trevor Rogers rookie card. The Triumvirates, Yu Darvish and Mr. Jacob deGrom. A sweet Stadium Club greats, Mike Trout. And then we have a red foil, Honus Wagner. A red foil, Bob Gibson. A red foil rookie card, Paven Smith. And then our two autos, Ali Sanchez, rookie card, auto. And Ryan Jeffers, rookie card, auto. So that is Stadium Club, but we still have Select to go. We're going to get into Select right now. So some sweet cards at a Stadium Club. And now we'll see what we get with Select. And it, so let's break select open. Let's do that a little different. This box, so it's interesting. This box feels like it's got a little bit of space from when you open it. I, I don't think the cards, yeah, I didn't think the cards went all the way to the edge. In typical Panini fashion, they're just kind of crammed in here a little bit. So here we go. Five cards in each pack. Looks like we had some shuffle. So 12 packs. Let's see. I see it's supposed to hold them, but when that thing comes out. The Panini packaging never ceases to impress. Lots of packaging for Panini. We only care about the packs inside. All right, so here we go. Shuffle it up. We're looking for four hits out of here. Two autos. Two patches. Good luck, everyone. We'll pull this off over here. We'll get to breaking this first one. This first one feels thick. We might have a hit to, right off the bat. We've got something. It could be one of those filler cards that Panini is famous for as well. But I don't think it is. I'm pretty, in fact, that is not. All right, so there we go. Here we go. We're going to start off with the Panini Select sensations mike yastrzemski and the other thing we have to do so this is the uh insert the sensations insert but we have to look for the three tiers in select so what we're looking for is cards number we've got base which are up to 100 uh premiere which is up to 200 and then up to 250 is diamond so here's a casey mize and Casey Mize is a premier auto, card number 111. So a little bit tougher to pull than the base. You can tell by the design on the card. Now, as Bethany has pointed out, there is a little bit, this one is a little right heavy. Um, so, but we get a Casey Mize. This one's going to, De to uh, Detroit. This one's going to Clark Sports Cards. So Casey Mize showing up in both boxes that we broke. And as we continue on, we get a Justin Turner. And let me get the, the how am I doing this? I want to go that way. Justin Turner, Jose Ramirez. And I do believe this is going to be our first hit of the box. It will be a Tyler Stevenson rookie card patch. Make sure this one isn't numbered. It is not. 
It is a, St- a Tyler Stevenson rookie card jumbo swatch for the Reds. So that one going to KC Nation. Congrats on that one, KC. And we'll get the... So I was wondering how thick these were going to be. I have not opened any of this myself yet. I do have a box for myself. I just haven't opened it yet. All right, so there we go. These are going to fit perfect. I figured as much. All right. So we get Tyler Stevenson. That's our first relic of the box. That one's going to KC Nation. Tyler Stevenson rookie card patch. Nice one there. And let's get Jose Ramirez back in line here. And as we continue on to the next one, the Honus, the Honus bonus. All right, here we go. This one, I think, has... Yeah, see, this one has this one has a fake out in it. So here we go. Max Freed, Starling Marte, and we have our first red foil parallel. This is going to be a rookie card, and it will be TJ Antone, another one for the Reds. So a red, a pair, the a jersey match parallel red for the Cincinnati Reds. Rookie card, TJ Antone. This one is going to be numbered 148 out of 199. Let's try and get that on there. 148 doesn't want to. There we go. 148 out of 199. Red foil parallel. Rookie, TJ Antone. Congrats on that one, KC. So KC with that red spot. It's been consistent for him. The entire break. So there's our next card garden member. Then we have our filler. I like these things though. And then we have Santiago Espinal. And this one is going to be a diamond parallel rookie card for the Blue Jays. These are the most limited that you can pull. This one is a diamond. I bet you we only see one of these in this box. We might get two, but the diamonds, pretty tough pulls here. So this is a very nice rookie card. Santiago Espinal for the Blue Jays. That one's going to Goth Deck. Diamond tier, card number 213. So a nice one there. And then we also get a Jonah Heim rookie card. And this one's going to be a Premier, numbered 134. So Jonah Heim. For the A's, that one's going to KC Nation as well. <laughs> you do have the Tyler Stevenson autos. I forgot about that. All right, here we go. Next pack. We've got Max Scherzer, and we do have another hit, so let's do this. All right, we've got the Stars Shane Bieber insert. The Biebs. That's going to the Indians. That's going to Ryan L. We've got Willem Contreras. This is also a premier level. That one going to the Braves. And that one going to KC Nation as well. So KC Nation hot right now. There's the Scherzer. And we have Charlie Blackman. And our next hit will be a nice one. Another horizontal jumbo swatch. Ian Anderson for the Braves. That one going to KC Nation as well. So KC Nation cleaning up right now. Congrats on that one, KC. Ian Anderson, Patch. The sweet one. Not numbered. Well, let me check. Not numbered, but still a jumbo swatch, horizontal jumbo swatch of rookie Ian Anderson. Ian Anderson have another solid season. Not quite as dominant as his rookie season, but still great. So there we go. Ian Anderson, that one going to KC. So KC hot in this box. All right, here we go. Mr. Manny Machado. Cody Whitley, rookie card. Jordan Alvarez. And then we have a Eugenio Suarez. And this looks like it's going to be a refractor. Again for the Reds. KC Nation. Not numbered, but it is a refractor. Rainbow refractor? They probably call this something. Um, because 
The problem I have with Panini is I can never remember what they call all of their parallels. But that being said, this obviously some sort of rainbow unnumbered parallel from Select. So we've got Eugenio Suarez, another card for KC Nation. And then we have a premier Dominic Smith for the Mets. And I almost got out of the break. Almost. Why you never get out of the break. All right, here we go. Next pack. Still looking for our two autos. How about and we've got a filler card in here. Okay, so we've got Fernando Tatis for the Padres. Let's go to J. Chez. We've got Jose Abreu, and this card is junked up. Look at that. That is, I have no idea what is on that card. However, that one's going to the White Sox. Came out of the box that way. Sorry about that, Chris. But uh, good news is it's not like a auto or parallel or anything. But the Jose Abreu with some sort of something on it. Not quite sure what's on there. Looks like. I don't know what that is. And then we have a white border with Merrifield for the Royals. It's got the Royals. That's stack pack mat. White border numbered to 50. 11 out of 50 white border. And this is a premier level. So the mid, the middle tier premier with Merrifield white numbered 11 out of 50. Beautiful card there. Whit Merrifield having a fantastic season for the Royals. And that is a white border parallel. Clean looking card right there. Oh, wait. We still got more cards in this pack. We have our filler card. And then we have... Get the filler card over there. There we go. Jake Woodford. And this is going to be another refractor, rainbow type refractor. That one's going to the Cardinals and Cards for Days. Trade for that wit. Who has the Royals? The Royals? Stack Pack Matt. There we go. We've got a Jake Woodford. Another. That's a rookie card as well. So that is a rookie card refractor parallel. And then we have a David Peterson rookie card premier for the Mets. All right, next pack. Still looking for two autos. We got a Jami Jones rookie card. We're going to see a ton of rookie cards. Like almost every, like half of them are rookies. So we've got Jami Jones. Come on. Come on, Panini Select. There we go. Jami Jones. That one's going to the Orioles. That one going to Stack Pack Matt as well. And for the Marlins. Jazz Chisholm. I feel like it would be awesome to have a sound effect. Oh, and look at the Jazz Chisholm. I didn't see this till just now. The Jazz has that same weird printer mark right here. That sucks. So card quality continues to be an issue in 2021. The Jazz Chisholm, I think you can see it right here. It kind of runs right across. But the Jazz Chisholm... Not in perfect condition. Out of the box. Sorry for that one. That's going to Goth Duck. But Goth, we got you a Jazz at a stadium club. Unfortunately, that one not in perfect condition. But it is a Jazz Chisel nonetheless. And then we have a select. Um, I think these are called, what are they calling these ones? Um, it's somewhere on here. The... I think it's the power. Now, now I'm trying to remember what this one is called. Uh, select stars or uh, thunder and lightning. That's what they call these. This is the thunder and lightning. This is a Tampa Bay Brandon low. So thunder and lightning here. And then we have a moonshots Brandon low. So we get two Brandon lows right in a row. The select moonshots. I like the moonshot ones. They're sweet looking. So Brandon low. Two of them for the Rays. They're going to Teresa. And we got a Luis Patino also for the Rays. So that's a Rays pack right there. I believe those are silver refractors. 
The uh, the ones up top, the All right, here we go. Kyle Tucker. I'm trying to figure out. Are we talking about the Jake Woodford? All right, Kyle Tucker, Lu Lucas Giolito, Christian Javier, rookie card. Let's go into the Astros and medium rare cards. And we have a red, white, and blue Reese Hoskins for the Phillies. That's going to Chris D. This one numbered, not numbered, but a nice little premier level parallel. Reese Hoskins. Put that one in a, put that one up in the card garden. Nice one there for Philly. And then we have a Keegan Aiken. This is also a premier level. And that is a rookie card as well. That's going to the Orioles and stack pack Matt. Next pack. Still looking for two autos. This is crazy. Raphael Marchand, Philadelphia Phillies, rookie card. We have Travis Blinkenhorn, rookie card. That one's going to the Twins. That's going to Cards for Days. And another rookie card here. We've got Miguel Yajure. Yajure, rookie card, Pittsburgh. Um, got, who's got... Pirates, J. Chiz. All right, then we have a Keston Hira and a Justin Verlander for that pack. So a bunch of rookie cards in that pack. And as we continue on, come on, there we go. We've got a Chris Bryant. There we go. We're going to have our first auto coming out of this pack. Here we go. 25th man, A.J. Minter. That is another one of the inserts you can get out of this set. KC Nation says, Mama Royale, ah, nothing. Oh, wait, Mama Royale's in here? What is this? Mama Royale, I didn't see you sneak in here. How you doing? He's just yelling. He's hot. Let's see if we can get him another one right here. He's already got both the patches. Uh, Alex Bregman, Chris Bryant. There's Jake Woodford. Again, rookie card. So we've got the base, but let's see what the third hit of the box is. It is going to be for the Padres. And this one going to J. Chez. This is Jorge Mateo. It is a rookie patch auto. Jorge Mateo. And it is numbered 177 out of 299. So another, well, not another. It's our first one. Another rookie card. This one is a rookie card. RPA rookie patch auto. Two colors in the patch, too. Got a little bit of the pinstripe. Nice one there. Jorge Mateo. Or J. Chez. So J. Chez pulls the auto. First auto. Congrats on that one, J. Chez. Number to 299 as well. Let's get the next pack rolling here. All right, we got three packs left, and then we'll get right into break number two. All right, is this is going to be the uh, that's a that's a filler card right there. All right, so we got Tyler Glass now, Keston Hira. We're going to have another parallel here, and this one another Whit Merrifield. So we've got our second Whit Merrifield. This one's going to be not, this is a green parallel. This one's going to be, and by the way, these are premier level parallels so they're not the base tier they are the premier tier this is a whit merrifield green parallel numbered 45 out of 99 so we have two whit merrifields out of the same box that is that's weird that's also going to stack pack matt but why don't we do this let's get both of them well here i guess it's easier to do it this way let's get both of them together the Whit Merrifield parallels the white and the green. The white number to 50, the green number to 99. Very cool there. And as we continue on, how about another? There's another uh, spacer. But then we have a Shohei Otani. 
red, white, and blue parallel. This one's going to the Angels and Teresa. So Teresa gets the Shohei parallel. I don't believe it is numbered. It is not. Oh, a concourse? What is concourse? Concourse prism. Do they all say concourse on the back? They all do. I have no idea why it would say concourse. Why does it say concourse on the back? Anyone know? And then we have a Pavin Smith rookie card. That is a premier level rookie card as well. Let's go to the Diamondbacks, Clark Sports Cards. And two packs to go. Both my hits for those two wits, Stack Pack Matt. Both of them. Both wits for the Tyler Stevenson patch and the Ian Anderson patch. Both rookie patches. All right, here we go. Is this going to be... Oh, it is. Oh, it is. That one's real thick. Oh, look at this one. This is the Phenomenon insert Mike Trout. Beautiful one there. The Funk Phenomenon Mike Trout. So two very nice Mike Trouts. Ding! Second Mike Trout of the night. There we go. That one going to Teresa as well. Teresa, congrats on that one. All right, so let's get Mike Trout up in the Cod Garden. All right, next card. Miguel Rojas, Premier. Aaron Nola. Dylan Carlson, Rookie Card. Uh, however, we have a thick card on the back here, and I believe this is going to be our next auto, and I believe it's going to be a patch, and it's thick. So let's see what we get. It's going to be... Oh! <laughs> For the White Sox, this is a monster. Andrew Vaughn Auto Patch. I believe it's going to be numbered. I believe it's going to be numbered. This is a big one right here. Andrew Vaughn. This one going to Chris Day. Andrew Vaughn jersey. We've got some lettering in there. Numbered 13 out of 25. What an auto. Rookie patch auto. That is a big one. Andrew Vaughn, not in the base set. Andrew Vaughn, a rookie this year. However, this is more like a prospect card. I believe KC Nation has an idea. Do it again. And now we got to find a one touch. Let me see. Let me see. I got to find one. This is a pretty thick. Uh, let's do this. This is this is why I like these things. So this will, a 180 might be. Yeah, a 180 probably going to work just right. I just so happen to have pulled the right. One touch for Chris Day. Chris Day, congratulations. Mango, what's going on? Numbered to 25. That is a huge, huge hit. So you cannot get this card in the base set. It's auto only. Uh, same thing, by the way, you can also get one in Stadium Club. Uh, but this is more of a prospect. It's kind of like a pre-rookie. So let's do this. We're going to pop this into the one touch. I am going to put this over it because technically you don't always want to put chromium cards into one touches. You want to make sure they're protected. So you want to make sure that you uh, have a sleeve over it at least before you put it in. Um, so that way you're not getting the plastic right on the uh you want to kind of do it like that andrew vaughn what a hit that's a sweet one i'll trade my austin martin lot for two spots and break number two so there we go andrew vaughn number 13 out of 25 beautiful one there really stoked i actually had a 180 point one touch for you chris uh but that is a beautiful, beautiful, is it going to stay? Oh, it barely stays. It barely stays. Andrew Vaughn. And don't forget the Dylan Carlson 
Also going to cards for days. That was the reveal card on that Andrew Vaughn. Um, it's no, it's not that I don't pay attention. Concourse is on all levels. Um, it is that I literally, I'm, I, I like look at the card so much. I don't follow along with chat. I'm not very good at it. Let's just, let's just say I'm not very good at what I do. <laughs> it's a mama Royale, nothing personal against you. Sometimes I just start looking at the cards and then I don't pay attention to chat as much as I probably should. Um, and keep in mind, my I keep looking for my cursor and I can't find it. This is so annoying. Um, I might have to go run and grab a mouse. Where I, I don't even have a mouse. I actually I think I have one somewhere. I think there's one somewhere, but um, I'll have to find one. All right, last pack of the break. Here we go. Luis Garcia, rookie card for the Astros. We have. Chris Bubik rookie card and a Josh Donaldson. Now this one's going to be a diamond. This is 239 and it is a silver prism as well. So we've got the silver prism Josh Donaldson. This is a nice one for the twins right here for Barry. It's a sweet one. We've got the and this is a diamond level silver prism Josh Donaldson. So another nice card for the card garden right there. I don't even know what team I got for break two. Iris, we haven't, we haven't randomized it. Nobody knows what team they got in break two. All right, here we go. Michael Conforto Phenoms. Nice one there for the Mets. And our last card of the break going to be Isaiah Kiner. Balipa. So that is break number, well, that is uh, the select box out of break number one. Very cool box. Um, yeah, real nice box right here. So with a banger, a foghorn banger. So let's cover off on the hits. The silver prisms. See what we, we'll see what we got into here. Ended up some pretty, I knew that was going to fall out. I knew it was going to happen. Barely fit in that thing. All right, so here we go. We've got quite a few. Quite a few to go through here. Go like this. We'll put them, we'll put them in some sort of an order. All right, here we go. First we have... The Shohei Otani, red, white, and blue parallel. We've got the Casey Mize rookie card. That is a premier rookie card. Uh, Dylan Carlson rookie card. Jake Woodward. This is a silver prism rookie card as well for the Cardinals. The Mike Trout phenomenon insert. Jazz Chisholm rookie card. Josh Donaldson silver prism diamond level. We've got Eugenio Suarez silver prism. Premier level, Reese Hoskins, red, white, and blue. Santiago Espinal, a rookie card, and that is going to be a premier level as well. We have the Whit Merrifield green to 99. We have the Whit Merrifield white to 50. The TJ Antone red to 199. Then we have the Tyler Stevenson patch. We have the Ian, uh, what's that? What wasn't one of these numbers? The Ian Anderson patch. And what's interesting, I just noticed that little, little bit of like red. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. You can barely get it. There's a little bit of red on that patch. Um, like stain. All right. We, and then our first auto was Jorge Mateo. This is a rookie patch auto. This one numbered. 177 out of 299. And then we have the banger, the Andrew Vaughn rookie Pat Wild patch auto, more of a prospect uh, in this card. Andrew Vaughn numbered 13 out of 25. Congrats on that one, Chris Day. And thank you for everyone who got into break number one. All right. So, whoever is a Reds Braves fan, I'll trade you all of my hits. For a spot in the next break. Casey Nation always active on the trade market. 
So let me get these over here real quick. And we're going to get to break number two. That Andrew Vaughn was sweet to 25. Gotta love it. All right. Break number two. First things first. I gotta figure out this uh, mouse thing. Gotta figure it out. So I might need to go grab a mouse and see if I can. Well, the other problem is, is even if I have a mouse, oh, I'm gonna have so many problems. Hmm. Why would my mouse disappear? And the funny part is, I know if I just like shut my screen, screen and opened it back up, but that would stop the stream. It's just so annoying. So let's see here. Um, we got to come up here. I just got to like hope. All right, I'm going to close this, but then it's going to ask me to save. And I'm not going to be able to find the save thing. So guys, you got to bear with me here. This is this is so frustrating. Um, it is massively, massively frustrating. One and two. I don't know how I am going to. save close that okay there we go i'm wondering see it's the second i did that all right um i've never seen a mouse disappear uh did the cursor disappear like that I, this is like highly annoying okay so here we go here's who's in break number two we've got ryan l jeremy r joey otto zach p bethany jeff pullins the one spot hotshot giovanni Miles C, Roland T, Chris D, Joe M, Tom L, Marshall C, Rebel3353, J Chez, Mango, and Iris Collins, who had a spot donated. Uh, make your disappearing cursor back uh wait back to visible in Windows 10. Function F3. All right, let's try it. That didn't work. Function plus F5. Uh, that opened up a go-to thing. I don't even know what that did. <laughs> that didn't help. Function F9. That didn't help. Function, try function F7. Um, no, try function F11. I've now hit all these functions and nothing's happening. It's okay. None of it's working. I'm going to make it work. Jeff Pullins. I'm doing good other than the fact that my cursor literally disappeared. And I am the funny part is everything still seems to be working. Like it's still there. I just can't see it. I think I'm going to be able to figure it out. I kind of just, or I'm not going to be able to figure it out. I don't know. Either way, the funny part is I pressed one of those functions and now I got to go. I brought up a screen. Of course it did. Uh, <laughs> that is what it is. Sometimes if it's not drop frames, it's always something with technology. I tell you. Wait. Cancel. Okay. I got rid of that. Great. Okay. So I'll struggle with it. I'm more worried about clicking back and forth from screens. That's that's my big thing. Um, I'll figure it out, though. I guarantee it. I'm not too worried about it. All right. I just got to see. But the problem is, is yeah, the problem is, is it doesn't. It does. Yeah, this could be a problem. I need to know how to. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Huh. Of course this would happen. There's one problem in that in Streamlabs, things don't start displaying correctly. 
and I cannot guess. Like they don't, when you hover over things, it doesn't highlight the way it should, which kind of sucks. But I'm going to guess working. It's probably not a good idea to guess. Then you'll never get it back. Okay, so I got to figure this out. Um, all right. So, all right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to have to shut because I can't, what I can't, what I'm not able to do is rotate back and forth between screens to show you guys the randomization. And I have to show you guys the randomization. So the only way I can do that, um, is to, I'm probably going to have to reboot the stream, but I'm going to try and shut the computer, which will probably shut the stream down. If it does, don't worry about it. I will read, I'm just going to reboot real quick. I'll get the stream back up. So just go to my channel. You'll see when it goes back live, just hit refresh, stuff like that. Um, and I'll be right back. I'm going to try and shut the screen first to see if maybe it doesn't shut the whole stream down, but I doubt that's going to work, uh, because it should put the computer to sleep, but I'm going to try it first. So if it doesn't work, uh, I'll, I'll just end the stream. The stream will be ended and then we will, uh, I'll get it rebooted right back up, but I can't do this without, uh, showing you guys a randomization. So it's not right of me to do that. So let me do this real quick and hopefully it works. If it doesn't, I'll be back in a couple minutes. So give me one second. Oh, there's a cursor. All right. Now, the question is, am I still live? Am I still live? Let's see. Chat, you still there? Let's see. Did it work? Cursor's back. That's good. All right, I'm checking. I'm checking. I'm checking. Hold on. I'm going fast. I'm going fast. Still live? Still live? Let's see. I think we're live. Still live. We got a cursor. No, Iris, you have not. All right, it worked. Okay, good. I thought for sure that would shut it down. All right. Yay, my mouse is back. Um, all right, sweet. Josh, bro, thank you guys for... Gosh, man. I am, uh, I've had like a bad luck with some technology lately. Um, I figured the drop stream stuff out or drop frame stuff and now all of a sudden my cursor disappears it's never happened on this new computer you know it's like way more powerful than the last one but i'm starting to think maybe the last one i was kind of just fine so all right here we go joey otto's in the house mango's in the house iris you guys ready to do this let's do this let's roll some dice let's get past all this stuff Ho hopefully the cursor doesn't disappear i'm just glad that the stream stayed live i don't know how that happened um, all right, so this time we'll roll the yellow dice. So first uh, roll is going to be for the randomization of teams. And we're going to get a four. And see, look, now I can go like this. It's beautiful. I cannot believe that worked. All right, here we go. Let's randomize it four times. Yeah, there's no way I would have been able to do this without seeing the mouse. All right, here we go. One and two and three and four. All right, pirates on the top, tigers on the bottom. Here we go. Paste that in. Yeah, there would have been... There would have been zero chance of me figuring this out. Um, all right, so let's come back here. Yeah, that just it just wouldn't have worked. Roll the dice again. This time we get a three. So this will be for the break participants. Start a new list. Go. Bingo. One, 
two, and three. All right, we got Iris on the top, Joe M on the bottom. So Iris with the donated spot lands the Pirates. Sweet. Go. And here's how the break shakes out. Hide this. Alphabetize. All right, so here we go. We, and I'm going to pull chat back up here. There we go. Bethany immediately wants to trade for the Cardinals. All right, here's, here's what we got. We got Angels going to Giovanni. Astros going to Chris D. A's going to Marshall. Blue Jays to J. Chez. Braves to Rebel. Brewers to Roland. Cardinals to Giovanni. Cubbies going to Jeff Pullins. The Diamondbacks to Joe M. <laughs> Excuse me. The Dodgers to Mango. Giants to Miles. Indians to Marshall C. Mariners to Tom L. Marlins to Rebel. Mets to Ryan L. Nats to Bethany, the Orioles to Jeremy R, Padres to Giovan, Phillies to Chris D, the Pirates to Iris, Rangers to Mango, Rays to Bethany, Red Sox to Jeremy, Reds to Miles C, Rockies to Tom L, Royals to J. Chez, Tigers to Joe M, Twins to Zach P, then we've got the White Sox going to Joey Otto, and the Yankees to Jeremy R. All right, so let's see, let me get caught up here. All right, so those are all the still live. Um, I love how before randoms, I have the Cardinals and the Cubbies. Uh, with that said, want to trade for the Cardinals? I'll trade for D-backs. So Iris wants the D-backs and has that pirate spot. <laughs> Bethany says she has the worst luck in these breaks, but do you wander is in... Wander is in, I believe you can get a Wander Auto out of Select. Yes. Um, I'm trying to think. I do not believe he has one in Stadium Club. The Rockies are up for trade. So we got the Rockies on the block. Let's see who's got the uh, Joe M. Where is Joe? Joe's got those Diamondbacks. And Iris is looking for the Diamondbacks. Yeah, the Rays could be absolute fire. Um... And there's a lot of different, that's the, the interesting part about this is in Panini, in the select box, you're looking for a lot of rookies. And I, if, I mean, if we're talking about hits here, um, you never know with parallels and stuff. But if we're talking about parallel, if we're not talking about parallels um, and select, you're looking for those rookie patch autos. That's kind of what everyone's looking for. Um, and then at a stadium club, when we talk about autos, they are all over the board. Um, you can get some people that haven't been called up yet. Like there's a Jared Kelnick or that have been called up but don't have rookie cards yet. There's a Jared Kelnick in there. Uh, Andrew Vaughn is also available in there. I don't believe Wander is in there, however. But you can also get like an Ichiro auto. You can get a Ken Griffey Jr. auto. You can get... Um, Regular, like Juan Soto, uh, you can get Mike Trout. So it's all over the board in stadium clubs. So it's two very interesting products to break together. Cubs for Orioles. Right, let's see what else we have in here. Uh, would Joe be interested in trading either A's or Indians for Tigers? Um, man, we need Joe in here. Bethany says yes to Cubs for Orioles. So Bethany, going to the dark side, grabbing the Cubs. So let's do that one. Oh, wait, hold on. Jeremy's got... All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I had that wrong there. I had that wrong. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me get caught up here. But Joby, um, make sure I got this right.
Oh, wait. Jeremy said, no, I'm a big Mount Castle fan. So the Orioles aren't going anywhere. Jeremy's keeping them. All right. Um, a Rosa Rainier's second year would definitely be in there. Cardinals for Ray. Joe M., if you are in chat. Surprised he's not. Giovanni says Cardinals for Rays, and then Bethany says yes. Wait, no. Uh, cards for Rays. Okay, so let's get that one. Cardinals. So Bethany not going to the dark side. She's getting the Cardinals. I was going to say, Bethany trading for the Cubs. That is not. That, did, that didn't sound like Bethany. Um, all right, so here we go. We've got. Giovan sliding into the Rays spot and Bethany taking the Cardinal spot. So we've got that trade in. Jeff, Jeff Poland just said, <laughs> sorry, Jeff, we can't get you the Orioles every time. People like the Orioles. Um, all right, so here we go. We are going to say trades going once. And it's just great to have the mouse back. Cursor, what listen since my cursor never disappears, I go live, cursor disappears. What the heck? Roland, would you do Brewers for Red Sox? Brew crew for the Red Sox. Roland calling Roland. Anyone PC the Cubs available for any team? Anyone wants the Cubs? All right. Well, yes. Um, Jeremy, Roland wants Brewers for Red Sox. So if you want the Red Sox, you can trade the Brewers. Let us know if you want to do that, Roland. And if anyone wants the Cubs, it's uh, see, the problem is, is cards for days isn't in this break. The Cubs would already be his. Uh, he would have traded for the Cubs just like that. Would you rather get a ton of Bowman 2029 Mega or one Hobby Box of 2018 update? Um, ooh. Bowman 2019? Uh, depends on who you like more. I'm, I'm an Acuna fan, so I'm going 18 update. Um, Oh, so it's not 2019. If it's 2020, I'm definitely going 2018 then. Um, I can take Red Sox. Okay, we are good. Roland, Jeremy, get that one in. So we got the Brew Crew. Roland trading out of the Brew Crew spot into the Red Sox spot with Jeremy. There we go. Brew Crew to Jeremy, Red Sox to Roland. We got that trade in. All right. Then we're going to say trades going twice. If you want to get any more trades on the table, get them in now. Um, if you want the Cubs, I mean, Bethany, you didn't want the Cubs? I mean, come on. Come on. Cubs Cardinals, that's what you started out with. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, um, I mean, Nats for Cubs. You could trade that Nat spot, but then again, you never know. You get that Juan Soto water. You just never know. Rockies for Cubs. So, Tom, you got Rockies for Cubs on the table. Or, um, or Jeff, you've got from Tom, you've got Rockies for Cubs. Pretty easy to get the Brewers in a break this year. Uh, that was Jeff Poland's last year. He was going, no one wants the Orioles. Jeff got the Orioles in virtually every break. Now the Orioles, there's a little bit, there's that Mount Castle. There's the, there's the hope. There's the future on the way. Bethany, that's what I'm saying. Are the, uh, are the Cubs better than the Nats? I mean, I don't know. Um, Iris is like, well, I guess I'm keeping the pirates. Um, yeah, you know, if Joe was here, um, 
the funny part is he'd make that trade, but I'm not going to make that trade on his behalf. Um, but I agree, man. Uh, the Pirates for Diamondbacks, if I'm going to break and I can get that trade, oh my gosh, I would do that trade all day long looking for Cabrian Hayes. Um, but I can't, unless someone has told me to make trades on their behalf, I cannot do that. So, Jeff, now you have two to choose from. You've got the Rockies or the Nats for the Cubs. Jeff, let us know, and then we're going to close trades after this. Tools, how you doing, bud? All right, uh, Iris, no falling asleep. It's Friday night. No, but if you're going to bed. Just come find it. The good news is we didn't have to restart the stream because of the mouse issue. Uh, oh, now he's sticking with the Cubs. At least I can send them to Barry. Um, I don't know any Rockies fans. Okay. All right. So we are going to close trades out. All that for nothing. Trades closed. All right. Yeah, I agree, Iris. It's, it's, a, it's, well, so, uh, there are some people, like if Jeff Polins wasn't here and it was a reasonable trade to get him the Orioles, I could make that. For the sheriff, who, by the way, where's the sheriff tonight? But for the sheriff, uh, he has given me carte blanche to whatever team it is. If, if he can get the Yankees, he takes the Yankees. Um, so even if it's like, you know, the Pirates for the Yankees or um, let, just, you know, if it was 2018 update and he had the Braves, uh, you would, he would still take the Yankees. Maybe not that far, but uh, you get what I mean. All right, guys, break number two. Uh, everyone that got into break number two, all the patrons, uh, thank you very much for your support. Let's pull some more great cards. Uh, have a little bit, of, have a little bit of fun with this one, and uh, I'll even. I think this is gonna work this time. Look at that! It worked this time. I couldn't get uh, that to come up because of the cursor issue in the last break, but I think. Now that I've got everything fixed and the cursor's there, I can do the things I want to do. I should have tried to shut it earlier, knowing that it wouldn't actually shut the stream down. All right, so, Rebel, I literally shut the computer screen down. I thought it was going to break up the whole, I thought it was going to break up the whole, uh, the whole stream, but it didn't. It kept the stream live, and I just opened it back up after like two seconds, praying that it didn't shut the whole stream down, and it didn't. And now the cursor's back. We're good to go. I didn't. I pressed every F something function. Nothing worked. It's just stupid laptops. All right, so we're gonna break Stadium Club first again. That seemed to work well last time. Um, all right, and then see now that we have this thing up, we can't see everything like we did in the last break. So, but we'll make do. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. Let's break some, see what we can get. First break was super cool, ending crescendoing in an Andrew Vaughn rookie patch auto to 25. It's nuts. Uh, let's see if we can hit the foghorn twice tonight. And away we go. Where's Shalaney? Because our box topper. You're going to like this one. He's going to like this one. How about Ken Griffey Jr.? Go to the Mariners, Tom L. Tom, congrats on that one, buddy. We've got our box topper, Ken Griffey Jr. It's a sweet looking card right there. Now you can get, some of these can be autoed, which would be absolutely nuts. We got one of these autoed. Give me a second. I got to grab a top loader. I'm trying to do that with one hand and reach in. This is not working for me. All right. So there we go. All right. Okay. So we get, and this one. There we go. 
desktop loader must have been the one on top. It's a little dusty. That is fine. All right. Come on. Come on, Griffey. There we go. The Ken Griffey Jr. No one wanted to trade my Austin Martin for spots. I, you know, hey, I, I would have considered that deal. So we get Griffey to begin with. Beautiful. Tom, starting off right. All right, and here we go. Stadium Club, box number two tonight. Break number two. See what we can get into here. Do a more randomization. It seemed to work last time. We'll see if it works twice in a row. On. And let's see. Let's see if I got it right. It looks like I got one too many on that side. Let's do that. All right. So here we go. Pull the select box off. Trying to keep most of the packs on screen. There we go. All right. First pack. We've got Mr. Eloy Jimenez, Justin Verlander, and how about a Garrett Crochet rookie card red foil parallel going to the White Sox and Joey Otto. We got to get Joey Otto and Otto. It's been a while. So tonight, let's see if we can get him one. We'll start them off with a Garrett Crochet rookie red foil parallel. We've got Cattell Marte. How about Mr. Mike Piazza? Shohei running. And we've got Xander Bogarts doing push ups. And Chipper Jones for the Braves. All right, next pack. Jeff Poland still has the sweet cow from last year's frame deck. That was awesome the way you got that framed. It looks beautiful. Uh, that's the one where is is that the one where he's in the car or is that the uh, one where he's like up in the dugout doing the curtain call? I'm trying to remember because I remember he had one of those was 2019 and one of those was 2020. I'm trying to remember which one. Um, all right, here we go. Andrew Benintendi, Manny Machado. And speaking of Chipper Jones, we've got another one. This is a beautiful one. Chipper Jones draft pick of the 90s reprint. Beautiful one here for the Braves. Going to Rebel. Uh, BW2 Racing. Those are from... Well, everyone makes them. Um, like, uh, you know, Ultra Pro. They all make them. You just got to look. Uh, but these ones were actually... Um, these are made by a company called... Hold on, I got I to gotta look again. Uh, Max Protection. So look up Max Protection. Max Protection Properties. Uh, they sell them and they, but you can find, they're actually pretty common in the uh, photograph space. Um, so, and the sleeves, Max Protection also sells those, but BCW, all, all those people sell them. Uh, except for good luck finding any of them right now because everything's back ordered. Kent the Maeda. Um, but I think Max Protection actually does have them in stock. Marcel Osuna. And then we have a Braxton Garrett rookie card for the Marlins. And there's the ding, Mike Trout. That's a sick Mike Trout. That's Mike Trout in the middle of his career. Like, I've noticed something about the Mike Trout cards in the last, call it two years. Mike Trout has gone from looking young to he now looks like an MLB veteran. Doesn't quite look old yet, but he looks like an MLB veteran. Um, and he And the thing that worries me is when he was young, he had that like, you know, million dollar smile. There's a Frank Thomas to end that pack. And now, um, and now he doesn't smile as much, which kind of makes me worry a little bit. Like, it does he enjoy the game as much as he enjoyed it when he was younger? Um, I guess being on an Angels team that is mediocre, he he's a little more grizzly, if you will. Some of those cards popped out of the bottom there. All right, here we go. We got a Sean Murphy. So this pack's going to 
not be sequenced right but that's okay leody tavares that's a rookie card for the rangers well here it is i didn't get the notification uh what are we talking about here mike trout in the dugout <laughs> uh here we go paven smith rookie card That's for the Diamondbacks. That's for Joe M. We know Joe M. has the Diamondbacks. So, and we know Iris has the Pirates. So, we get a nice Honus Wagner. So, these cards could have been switched around, but it's okay. All right, uh, because the Angels are wasting him, and he knows it, but he will never say it because it's too nice. Uh, yeah, you might be right. You might be right. I can't argue with that anymore. Brandon Nemo. Uh, here's a nice one. Nick Madrigal. For the White Sox. Going to Joey Otto. So Joey in that White Sox spot. Showing up early. Yeah, he... Um, and it's interesting. You can see it on his cards where... If you go look at his cards from like 2014, 15, stuff like that, he's always smiling. Gio Urshela, and then we have a red foil parallel, Mike Brousseau for the Rays. That's going to Giovanni. So yeah, um, but when you look at his cards from the last two years, um, he does his cards, he's not smiling as much. Now that could just be Tops doing that, but I watch the Angels a lot. He does not smile like he used to. He and part of that is, you know, you play the game long enough and it is what it is. Um Tim Anderson. We've got Jeff McNeil. But it is interesting with Trout that you don't see it. You don't you don't I don't want to say you don't see the love for the game that but you don't see him having as much fun with the game. There's a nice Reggie Jackson right there. Look at the Jacoby Jones. Look at that one. Love you, mom. That's a cool card for Detroit. That one. Who's got uh, Joe M's got that one. And then we have a Stadium Club Chrome. Walker Bueller for the Dodgers going to Mango. So Mango pulls down the Stadium Club Chrome. Walker Bueller. Yeah, Steve, you're totally right about that. Anyone interested in three Bowman baseball mega box? Um, so there we go. We've got Walker Bueller. KC, you breaking that tonight? And then we've got another one. Where's Shalaney? Check out that one. Top Stadium Club. Now, I believe that's the 91 design or, or 93 design. Top Stadium Club, Ken Griffey Jr. Stadium Club greats insert. That is an awesome one there for the... So, is this a Ken Griffey Jr. box? Uh, we've pulled them twice. Ken Griffey Jr., that is a sweet, sweet one right there. Um, beautiful one. I believe that is... It might be 91. That could. Be, I think that is 91, isn't it? Isn't that the first year stadium club, Ken Griffey? Pretty sure. Pretty beautiful one. Pretty beautiful one. All right, so here we go. Let's keep going. Roberto Alomar. We've got Cody Bellinger. I have eight. That is a beautiful one. I agree. Shalaney. One time you're not in the break, and the Baron is Ken Griffey Jr. showing up all over the place. All right, here we go. How about Christian Pache, rookie card for the Braves? Going to Rebel. There's Pache. Shalani, can you confirm that's 91? I believe it's 91. I mean, that is the... I used to buy those cards. I remember I used to go... There was a baseball card shop right down the street from my house. And when Stadium Club came out... When Stadium Club first came out, it was like an uber ultra-like product. Uh, which is funny now because it's actually more of a value product, which I don't understand. Kyle Tucker. And then here we go. Here's that Greg Maddox card again. But this one is a black... Foil parallel with the championship shirt on. This one, of course, going to the Braves as well. Um, and then, yeah, so you would go into the card shop 
And these packs back in the day were like, you know, five bucks, six bucks a pack. They maybe even got up to like nine or 10. And in 91, what I, I would have been, I see in 91, I would have been 13. Yeah, no, 91. I, yeah, 13. Um, it's like, it was like nine bucks a pack. And you're like, I, I'll never, I'll never be able to afford one of those. There's the Walker Bueller base. And there it is, the Joe Adele for the Angels. Love that card. I got to get myself some of these. Um, for you guys on Discord, you know how I am about, you know how I am about Joe Adele. And this is a nice one. I, I might have to get the auto of this one. So here's the Joe Adele. That one's going to Giovanni. Congrats on that one. Awesome one. We'll call it the Joe Adele Honda card. And as we continue on, we've got Max Muncy, Ozzy Albies, and Don Mattingly catching a foul ball. What was the best hits of the night so far? Jeremy Little, probably not, actually not probably, the best hit of the night. And Andrew Vaughn, rookie patch, well, not even rookie, like prospect patch auto, number to 25 out of select. It was, it was huge. It was Foghorn Huge. Here's Shogo Akiyama. And there it is. The Cabrian Hayes rookie card for the Pirates going to Iris. We didn't get him in the first one, but we got him here. Cabrian Hayes. Congrats on that one, Iris. And then what was the other one? Like in 92, like 92 Leaf, that was another really expensive one when you went into the, when you go to the card shop and you're just like, oh man. And then you see like the old guys, you well, they were old. They were like my age. Uh, here's a Paul Goldsmith red foil parallel. That's going out to the Cardinals. That's going to Bethany. So Bethany, congrats on that one. A little Goldsmith for you. And uh, yeah, you would go into the, you would go into the um, card shop see all the adults buying all of the stadium club and leaf and bowman and you were like i don't like those people and back in the day instead of having parallels and everything they just they it's was kind of the start of it's kind of the start of having a lot of different sets because they finally figured out well we can't produce a million of one we got to produce a million of a lot uh david wright but they hadn't figured out the parallels and everything yet. There's a Raphael Devers. Here's a Drew Rasmussen rookie card for the Brew Crew. That one going to Jeremy. And then we also have a Lou Gehrig for the Yankees. That's a cool card right there. That one's going to Jeremy R. So Jeremy gets two in a row right there. Um, and... Didi ends that pack. All right, next. So, if anyone's interested with Casey Nation, hit him up. At, hit him up in messages. Here we go. Stand the man, Musial. Another nice one there for Bethany. Traded to get that Cardinals, so it's a few cool Cardinals spot of cards early. We have a Dalton Jeffries rookie card and a virtual reality Kyle Lewis for the Mariners. So the Tom in that Mariner spot stays warm. All right. Next card, Josh Donaldson, Ian Happ, Devin Williams. That is uh, what I, I, I thought I saw the rookie card logo, but that is a Devin Williams. He won rookie of the year last year. Paul DeJong. And our first auto going to be a Joey Gerber. And wouldn't you know it, it's turning into a Seattle Mariners box. Going to the Seattle Mariners, Joey Gerber, rookie card, going to, of course, Tom L., who's got a lot of Mariners cards early in this. Now he gets himself a rookie auto, Joey Gerber. Shalaney, tell us more about Joey. I don't know much about Joey, but we get Joey Gerber. And as we continue on, not, not the biggest auto there, but a nice, a nice auto, beautiful picture of Gerber and always good to get a rookie card auto. Here we go. Marcus Simeon. 
Luis Campusano rookie card. Padres. What up with all the Mariners hit? I know. No kidding. I'm sorry, man. What can I do? What can I do? Bethany. Uh, hey, I try, Bethany. <laughs> I try. I like it when I pull cards that people like. Um, it's fun. All right. Le Lorenzo Kane for the Brewers. Speaking of the Brewers, this going to Jeremy R. That is a red foil parallel Lorenzo Kane. Then we have Freddie Freeman, Jesus Aguilar, Dalton Varsho, rookie card, Diamondbacks. Yeah, Jeremy. Um, well, and so, by the way, a lot of the autos, we've kind of not had the greatest luck with the autos in Stadium Club tonight. Um, there's a lot of good autos in Stadium Club. Hopefully our next one, uh, we can hit a banger, hit the foghorn, something like that. For the Tigers, how about Ty Cobb? Beautiful Ty Cobb right there for Joe M. And we have Chris Paddock to end that pack. Yeah, Stadium Club is... Stadium Club is dynamite. It's always one of my favorite sets to open. Like the first time you see the cards, they're just like, for example, the Joey Bart rookie card. Bart sighting. Pulling Barts. Joey Bart. Here we go. Miles C gets this one. But look at that. You're not going to find a rookie card like that anywhere else. Anywhere. It's not even close. Um, and they've been doing it for 30 years now. So there's the Joey Bart. Congrats. Miles. Add into the card garden. Then we have Kirby Puckett. And for the Braves again, a triumvirate insert. Freddie Freeman. It'd be awesome as if you got all three of them in the same pack, so you could just put them together immediately. Um, then we've got the little plastic one thing with cardboard gold top loaders, little plastic shavings. All right, there we go. Freddie Freeman triumvirates for the Braves. Then we have Giancarlo Stanton, beautiful picture there. There's Schwerber. Dominic Smith, Reese Hoskins, and Willie Mays Hayes for the Giants. Continuing on, we're about, I don't know, we got a few more packs left. Here we go. Ryan McMahon, J.D. Davis. Nico Horner, red for the Cubbies. That's going to Jeff Pullins. Red foil parallel. Nico Horner, second year card. What's Nico doing this year? That's a cool one. Clayton Kershaw finally raising that trophy that he waited so long to get. You know the story behind some of these cards. They make it even better. Uh, Dansby Swanson. We've got Miguel Rojas. The Rhino, Ryan Sandberg, and Will Myers MasterCard. Look at that. That is a sweet, like, you got to wait for that shot all stinking game to get that shot. How does that even work? That is a beautiful card there. That's going to the Padres. That's going to Giovan. The MasterCard. Like it. All right. Next pack. Looking for that last auto. We've got Cal Ripken Jr. with Wade Boggs. That's cool. I like that one. We've got Charlie Blackman. And another black foil. This one, a Marcus Stroman for the Mets. We've got to get more top loaders here. One second. This one for the Mets. So this one going out to Ryan L. Ryan, congrats on that one. Stroman. And then we have Max Freed. Jesus Sanchez, rookie card for the Marlins, going to Rebel. I've got J.D. Martinez, Carlos Correa, and Justin Dunn.
Come on. Come on. There we go. All right, continuing on. Starling Marte. Ahmed Rosario. And how about this one? A blue foil. Davey Garcia. Rookie card. I believe the blues are numbered to 50. So this one's going to the Yankees. This one going to Jeremy R. So Davey Garcia. Blue. Numbered 16 out of 50. So a beautiful rookie card, Davey Garcia, out of 50. Going to Jeremy. Congrats on that one, buddy. That is a sweet-looking card, too. Um, holding the ball. Looks like he's coming out after, a, after an inning. That's a sweet one there. And as we continue on, we've got Braylon Marquez. Plus, it's blue, Yankees blue. That's almost – is that a color match? It kind of is because of the colors on the card. We've got Michael Conforto. Uh, we've got Chris Sale. Tristan McKenzie, rookie card for the Indians. And how about Jackie Robinson? For the Dodgers. Going to Mango. I got that Davey. Love it. Yeah, that is a real sweep. On every one of these pictures, they did a great job. They do a great job every year on the photography. Um, just fun, just fun packs to open. All right, continuing on. Here we go. You Darvish, Danny Jansen. There's another superstar duos. This one's going to the Dodgers. So this one has Cody Bellinger on the back and Mookie Betts superstar duos on the front. These can come in autos. So this one's going to Mango as well. And in the rest of the pack, we've got James Karinchek, James Caprillian, rookie card for the A's. It's going to Marshall. And we have... Ryan Castellani, rookie card. Kybert Ruiz, rookie card. So lots of rookies coming out of this one. So Kybert Ruiz for the Dodgers. And then we also have a awesome Sixto. Look at that rookie card. Sixto looking happy out there in Miami. Who wouldn't be happy sitting in the sun in Miami? You can actually see the photographer taking the picture in the picture. That is sick. So a cool Sixto Sanchez there. That one going to Rebel. And we continue on down to three packs. Should have one auto left. All right, we got Max Kepler. Corey Kluber. A red foil Giancarlo Stanton. That one going to Jeremy as well. I agree, Mango. Anytime you get Jackie, it's kind of awesome. It's kind of awesome. Plus on that one, he's got the 42. So there's the Giancarlo Stanton red foil. Then we have Spencer Howard rookie card. There's the Bregman. Salvador Perez. There's Juan Soto. It's going to the Nats and Bethany. And finally, how about a Johnny Bench carrying balloons? And I don't even know. There's probably a story behind this. Probably an opening day picture. But what is the tiny thing on his shoulder? I think they used to call those weebles, right? That tiny thing on his shoulder is weird looking. That one's cool. Going to the Reds. Let's go to Miles. All right, two packs left. Come on, Otto. I was getting nervous. Because Tops, not always perfect in doling out autos. When I get down to two packs and we haven't seen the second auto yet. Here we go, Kyle Seeger. The nice George Brett. Here you go, KC. We've got Tyler Glass now. 
And that is a virtual reality going out to the Rays, going to Giovanni. Tyler Glass now insert. We have Jesus Luzardo, Trevor Story, Evan Longoria. We've got Frankie Montes, and our second auto going to the Nationals, going to Bethany. Kyle Finnegan, rookie card. Nats, on card auto. The auto a little smudged. I don't know if that's just how he signs it. But Kyle Finnegan for the Nats, our second auto from Stadium Club. So two pitcher autos. Uh, a little disappointed that we didn't maybe get a numbered one um, and two pitchers. But they are both rookies, and that's what we're looking for. Kyle Finnegan, Nationals, going to Bethany. Congrats, Bethany. So that'll be our second auto at a stadium club in our last pack good luck everyone and then we'll get right into select we've got so should i get a hobby of series two or this at clyde it kind of depends there's vladimir guerrero um i would probably say all right so there's vlad um it depends if you want autos out of a hobby box I would say, I mean, to get a guaranteed auto is going to cost you about 200 bucks out of Series 2. Uh, Dustin May, out of here, you're going to get two of them. And look at this. Bethany. Stan Musial, red foil, jersey parallel match. We got the base of this. Now we get the red foil parallel. Stan the man. To go along with your Paul Goldschmidt red foil parallel. So a nice one there for Bethany again. We'll get a little last pack mojo for Bethany. JT Romuto, Jordan Alvarez. That's a sweet Jordan. Uh, Garrett Crochet rookie card for the White Sox. We've got Roger Clemens for the Red Sox. There's a Red Sox for you, uh, Roland. And Trent Grisham. So that will end the stadium club portion of the break, but we still got select to go. Show you some of the hits that came out of Stadium Club. After I get everything kind of cleaned off here. So here we go. Got quite a few, quite a few of the rookies, which is pretty sweet. Um, lots of, lots of the, 20 21 rookies you'd be looking for so let's see we've got just a few here all right here we go we'll start out with giancarlo stanton red foil parallel superstar duos mookie betts and cody bellinger marcus stroman black foil parallel triumvirates freddie freeman Cabrian Hayes, rookie card. Joe Adele, rookie card. Nick Madrigal, rookie card. Christian Pache, rookie card. Joey Bart, rookie card. Paul Goldschmidt, red foil parallel. Stan Musial, red foil parallel. Garrett Crochet, rookie card, red foil parallel. Greg Maddox, black foil parallel. Got the Ken Griffey Jr. Stadium Club Greats, 91 reprint. The Stadium Club Chrome, Walker Bueller. We got the number one draft pick to the 90s. That's another 91 Stadium Club, I believe. Um, or maybe that's a little bit later, but that is a Chipper Jones as well. We got the Davey Garcia Blue Foil Parallel Rookie Card, numbered 16 out of 50. And our two autos, a Kyle Finnegan Rookie Card, on-card auto for the Nationals. And for the Mariners, we got a Joey Gerber on-card auto rookie card as well. So we now get in to Panini Select. If Stadium Club is the set with Hall of Fame autos, yeah, it is the one with Hall of Fame autos. Not that you can't get them in Series 2. Just the odds are going to be better in Stadium Club than they are in Series 2 because even though they produce plenty of it, they, do, they make more 
Series 2 than they do Stadium Club, and that's without a doubt. All right, so. It's Panini Select Time. The Cabrian Hayes photo is dope. I agree. Um, yeah, and so if you spend 200 bucks on a, on a jumbo box, you're going to get more cards out of Series 2. Um, if you're... Lo- just if, but if autos are what you're after, Stadium Club has a very low cost uh, per auto compared to uh, Series 2. However, Series 2, um, probably going to hold more value in the long run in terms of rookie cards and stuff like that. So if you're after rookie cards and you like some of the uh, checklist of the rookie cards that are in Series 2, you may want to consider Series 2. So it just kind of depends on what you're after and what you like collecting. If you're into autos, um, I'd go the Stadium Club route. If you are into parallels, rookie cards, stuff like that, I would go, I would probably lean more towards Series 2. All right, Panini Select time, guys. Here we go. Let's do this again. It seemed to kind of work last time. Give him a give him the old switcheroo. Stuff like that. Probably because I was hanging out at the casino a couple weeks ago. Alright, so here we go. Panini Select Time. Let's go like this so we can kind of still see both the packs. Alright. We have two series two hobbies. Yeah, and the hobbies don't guarantee autos. Um, It's only about one every six boxes you're going to get an auto um, out of the hobby. All right, Panini Select Time, guys. Good luck, everyone. See what we can get. We're going to start off with a nice one, an Alex Kirilov rookie card. That one for the Twins and Zach. So, Zach, congrats on that one. Kirilov. I got high hopes for him out in Minnesota for sure. Minnesota, though, man, what happened to them? They were supposed to be, remember how they were supposed to be good this year? All right, so Alex Kirilov, we'll start that rookie card off right there. Let's push him a little bit farther back, actually. We got to get him way back there. All right, Tim Anderson, Aaron Judge. Then we have a Kyle Lewis. So Seattle picks up right where it left off. Red, white, blue, parallel. That one, going to Tom. Not numbered, but a nice parallel. Kyle Lewis, great player. So, our first parallel of the box on the board. And then we have Frankie Lindor to end that pack. All right, next pack. Do we have... Oh, we got something in here. Oh, we got something. All right, here we go. 25th man, Tyler Duffy. For Minnesota. Nice little insert there. Going to Zach P. Garrett Crochet, rookie card for the White Sox. Corbin Burns. My voice just cracked there. Tyler Glass now. And our first hit of the box. Oh, my goodness. How about for the Phillies, Chris Day having a night. Chris Day having a night. That, that, was, that was a great line. Um, here we go. Alec Bohm, rookie patch auto. And that patch is like a wool. That patch is... Not a jersey. That is like a sock or something. I think that's a sock. That is not a jersey. I know that because it's like wool. Um, I don't even know what that would go to. Maybe it's part of his beard. No, I'm just kidding. Alec Bohm, though. Rookie patch auto numbered 138 out of 199. So another nice hit for Chris. 
Alec Bohm to 199 rookie patch auto. Beautiful. Congrats on that one, Chris. All right. Next pack. And we continue on. Tell you, select some real nice cards come out of here. Esteban Florial for the Yankees rookie card. Going to Jeremy. Then we have Max Fried, Max Scherzer, and a Derek Hill rookie card. And this is a diamond level rookie card. So again, remember, we've got base, premier, and diamond. Diamond, the hardest ones to pull. You're only going to find one, maybe two of them in a box. And this is a rookie card, Derek Hill for the Tigers. Oh, wait, no, this is not. Why did I think that it was? No, this is a, well, this is a prism nonetheless. Um, a silver prism Derek Hill rookie card. This is not a premier. Uh, this is actually a base. It is card number 98. But nonetheless, you still get the pr silver prism. So that one is going to be going to Joe M. And then we do have a premier Mike Clevenger. All right, next is that a jock strap? It's weird. It's not. It's like wool. It's not a normal jersey. Um, could be a hat. I don't think it's a hat either. I have a feeling it's a sock. I'm pretty sure it's a sock. But I don't know. Socks aren't like that either, though. All right, here we go. Another rookie card, Dalton Varsho. Tons of rookies in this set. Dalton Varsho, rookie card. And we've got Jami Jones. Oh, we got another hit. Jami Jones. I almost, I almost, almost didn't do that. Alex Colomb, 25th man. I almost didn't wait till the end. I don't know why breakers always want to wait till the end. It's like the card showed up to show it. Not going to happen. Premier, Shane Bieber. There's our Jami Jones. And our next hit of the box, going to be a Daz Cameron rookie card. Jumbo Swatch. So Daz Cameron, this one going to the Tigers, going to Joe M. So Joe M pulls a relic. This one not numbered, but Daz Cameron, nice one for Detroit. For Detroit. All right. This one there. Daz Cameron. We've already got, and don't forget, we also got the Jami Jones. Our next pack. Version has become my, uh, where's my Cardinals at? Well, I'm trying, I'm trying. All right, here we go. Trent Grisham, Tristan McKenzie, rookie card for Cleveland. And speaking of the Cardinals, how about... A stars, and this is a prism parallel. Jack Flaherty, I believe this is a prism parallel. It is a prism parallel. Is this numbered? Not numbered, which is surprising, but it is a prism parallel. Jack Flaherty. So that cardinal spot with a ton of parallels coming through in both these boxes. There's Jack Flaherty. Take that one. And how about this one? We've got the phenomenon Adley Rutschman for the Orioles. For Jeremy in that Orioles spot, Adley Rutschman. There are prospects available in the set, as we can see here. The Adley Rutschman, former first overall pick for the Orioles. Nice one there. Jeremy. Jeremy, we've been calling your name a lot, bud. All right, let's share the wealth here a little bit. And then we have a premier level Victor Gonzalez rookie card for the Dodgers going out to Mango. Might be inside pocket patch. Inside pocket patch. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm trying to think. What's, what's like, it's like a wool material. All right, let's see. Uh, spacer. Spacer in this one. All right, Tampa Bay, Shane McClanahan, rookie card. 
There's Sixto Sanchez. Miami rookie card. Going to Revel. It's a nice one there. Then we also have a green parallel to 99 for the Diamondbacks. Andy Young. This one's going to be number 299. I believe. Yes, 97 out of 99. Andy Young, rookie card. Going to Joe M. Wasn't here to trade for that pirate spot, but we get him a nice diamond back anyway. And our next, we've got our spacer. Then we have a silver prism, Glaber Torres for the Yankees. Going to Jeremy again. So Jeremy making a day of it. Glaber Torres, silver prism. Refractor parallel, basically. All right. And then we have another nice one for the White Sox and Joey Otto, a Nick Madrigal. And the Nick Madrigal is a premier rookie card. Premier level. We have not found a we've not found a diamond yet in this box. So, but Nick Madrigal, premier level rookie card. Sniff test. That is disgusting. <laughs> All right. Next pack we've got a Tanner Hoke rookie card Kyle Tucker and a blue it's going to be another rookie card this one going to the A's this is a Jonah Heim blue parallel rookie card and it will be numbered one out of 149 eBay one of one, as they say. But it is numbered one out of 149. Nice one. Jonah Heim, Oakland. That's going to Marshall. So Marshall pulls down a blue border parallel to 190, 149. And it is numbered one out of the set. As we continue on, another, another thing, whatever they, a spacer. And for the Braves, we've got my Soroka. <laughs> Going to uh, Rebel. And then we have Zach Plesek, a premier level for Cleveland. All right, next pack. We've got, let's see, is that another, another spacer? All right, here we go. Jared Oliva, rookie card for the Pirates. Looks like we're going to have another parallel in here, and it's coming up next. We've got Chris Bryant, and it'll be another Paul Goldschmidt red jersey match parallel. Paul Goldschmidt, that's our second one of the break for Bethany. This one's going to be numbered 199, 77 out of 199, Paul Goldschmidt red. Jersey match parallel. So Bethany having good luck with her Cardinals. Starting to see a lot of color in this garden. And then we have our spacer. And for the Cardinals, Dylan Carlson, red, white, blue, parallel, rookie card. Another one. For Bethany. Bethany and that Cardinal spot paid off. Dylan Carlson rookie card. That's a nice one right there. Beautiful. Beautiful parallel Dylan Carlson style. Congrats, Bethany. And then we have a Ryan Jeffers rookie card. It's going to be a premier rookie for the Twins. And that's going to Zach P. All right, next pack. I think we're still looking for two hits. We're going to start this one with Shohei. Then we got Aaron Nola. And a Phenoms, Randy Rosarena. And this one, just check, make sure it's not numbered. It is a prism. 
So this one, that's what I thought. It looked a little different. So we've got a Prism, Randy, a Rosarena. This one go to the Rays and Giovanni. So Giovanni, nice one there. In the card, Garden Groves. We're going to have a Premier, Josh Donaldson. And speaking of Randy Arozarena, there he is again at the Premier level. All right. Next pack. We've got Liam Hendricks, Luis Garcia, rookie card, Manny Machado, and a Premier Silver Prism, Anderson Tejada, rookie card for the Rangers, and Mango. So Mango gets a Silver Prism for the Rangers, Anderson Tejada. In the card garden, it's a little bigger. And it's going to get bigger even still because there is an Alec Bohm premier level rookie card for the Phillies going to Chris D. So there we go. Nice Alec Bohm there. Chris. And I'm running out of room. All right, we've got two packs left, and I think both of them are going to have hits. So let's see. I'm going to do this. Which one? We're saving that pack for last. That one feels like it's got a thick, thick patch, but we'll see. You never know. You never know. Here we go. Let's do it. All right. Salvi Perez. I'm going to flip that actually to the back. Oh, how about that one? We've got a phenomenon. Cabrian Hayes, rookie. For the Pirates, going to Iris. I'm, uh, I mean, Diamond, uh, oh, you missed, oh, you missed the Diamond Club. You got, well, no, you didn't. You were here, weren't you? All right, so there we go. Cabrian Hayes. Another Hayes. So we got two Hayes in the break. That's sweet. We didn't get any in the first one. Alejandro Kirk. We were asking about Kirk earlier. This one's going to the Blue Jays, going to Jay Chez. Rookie card, premier level. There's the Salvi Perez, Justin Turner, and our third hit of the box. Go to the Yankees. A horizontal swatch, jumbo swatch, Clark Schmidt. Now that one is a jersey. We know that's a jersey. But a nice one here for the Yankees and Jeremy R., who's had a real nice break. Jeremy, congrats on that one. And let me see here. I got to get... Can I not open these? For some reason, I didn't open the top loaders that I needed. Um, give me a second. Got to open up this box of top loaders. Because this one needs one that's a little bit thicker than the normal ones. I guess we'll put it over here. All right. So Clark Schmidt. Nice... Jumbo rookie swatch. Not numbered, it is a base, but always nice to get a rookie swatch. So we're going to put that one there and make room for the next one. Make room. Last pack in break number two. Good luck, everyone. Away we go. All right, we're going to. Start by pulling to the back our last hit. And we got Eloy Jimenez, Moonshot, insert. About five back, right stack. Uh, hold on. Um, I mean, Diamond. I'm not understanding. Uh, Bethany, that was a club. I mean, Diamond. Right stack, five back. Oh, we're talking about this one? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Chachi, what's going on? We're about to pull a big card, I have a feeling, Chachi. Denison Lamette. Brent Rooker. Uh, Rook, Brent Rooker Rookie. Brent Rooker Rookie. <laughs> Love that. That one's going to the Twins. That one's going to Zach P. Then we have Raphael Marchand. But Raphael Marchand is a rookie card. But we're going to use... That's going to the Phillies. It's going to Chris D. But we're going to use that for the reveal of... 
this card right here, which will be a Chris Bubik rookie patch auto for the Royals. Royals been quiet, but that one going to Jay Chez. So Jay Chez pulls the rookie patch auto for Chris Bubik. And I believe it's going to be numbered. Pretty sure it is numbered 68 out of 99. Get that on here a little bit better. Come on. Let's do this. There we go. 68. Still can't get it. Well, I want to focus. There we go. 68 out of 99. Chris Bubik. Nice one here for Jay Chez to end the break number two for the Royals. Nice one. So another nice box of select. Let's get the Marshawn sleeved up here real quick. And I'll show you the hits. I want to thank everyone that got into break number two. Always appreciate it. And uh, right, we're going like this. And um, I hope you guys, I hope we got you some good cards, some cards that you liked. I, we, I always like it when we pull cards for people's PCs. So it's fun watching Bethany get a bunch of parallels of the Cardinals that are all co color matched. All right. I, I think if you go through your stack on the right, I might be wrong, but they have an arrow like shape on the side. All right. Stack on the right would have been this one arrow like shape on the side. So let's do this. There's Turner Machado, Liam Hendricks, a Rosa Reina, Josh Donaldson, Aaron Nola, Shohei, Chris Bryant, Zach Plesek, Kyle Tucker, Grisham, Bieber, Clevenger, Herzer, Freed, Corbin Burns. Okay, I don't see anything crazy there. Back also shows it their concourse premiere. Etc. Well, yeah, that's the um, yeah. So, yeah, the premiere, but oh, okay. Now I see what you're saying. Why am I? Um, I really I don't think I did. Uh, hold on. So we're looking. I you are right because we did not pull. Um, I didn't see one. You're right. And I probably would have missed one because there should be one per box. Aha. No. No. Dun, dun, dun. This one is diamond. This one is the diamond. The Josh Donaldson is the diamond. Wasn't the Josh Donaldson the diamond in the last one? Man, those are really hard to tell from the premiere. Um, I guess they are a little different. So the Josh Donaldson was a diamond. You are correct. Bethany, eagle eye in it over there. Thank you for that, Bethany. And uh, there's probably, let's double check. Now, now I really do have to double check. So the Josh Donaldson was what we were looking at, looking for there. And yeah, I think we're good now. All right. So let's show off some hits and go from there. All right, we've got patches all over the place. There we go, and all right. So now we had a bunch of fun parallels. There we go. All right, so here's how the break ended up. Here's a few of the hits for us. Josh Donaldson Diamond, thank you to Bethany. We have the Jack Flaherty Stars Silver Prism insert. Nick Madrigal rookie, Alex Kirilov rookie, Derek Hill Silver Prism rookie, Blaber Torres Silver Prism, Anderson Tejada Premier Level 
silver prism, the Cabrian Hayes phenomenon insert rookie card, Randy Arozarena silver prism phenoms insert, the Adley Rutschman phenomenon insert, the Kyle Lewis red, white, and blue parallel, the Andy Young rookie card green parallel. This was numbered 87 out of 99. The Dylan Carlson rookie card. That's a sweet one there. Red, white, and blue parallel. Alec Bohm rookie card. Jonah Heim rookie card blue parallel numbered one out of 149. The Paul Goldschmidt red, and that was numbered 77 out of 199. We had the Clark Schmidt horizontal rookie patch. We have the Daz Cameron rookie patch. And we had for our autos, the Chris Bubik rookie patch auto that numbered out of 99, 68 out of 99. And the Alec Bohm rookie patch auto prism numbered 138 out of 199 with a wool type material. I'm going to guess, I have no idea what it is. I have no idea. You know what it could be? Could be like a sweatband. It's kind of like sweatband material. But nonetheless, Alec Bohm rookie patch auto to 199. Beautiful one there. Great break and break number two. Again, thank you for everyone that got into the break. Um, really appreciate it. If you want to learn more about these sets, be sure to check out my set reviews. I posted one on Wednesday and the stadium club was yesterday. So uh, select, you can learn more about that in my set reviews. Um, let's see, coming up for next week, uh, muse uh, Tops Museum comes out, I believe it's a week from today. That is a high-end set. It's only a few cards. I think there's like, what, three or four, maybe, see, there's three or seven. See, the three, or maybe I've got that wrong, but kind of a higher end set, Tops Museum. And then right after that, the following week is Gypsy Queen. So we are in full, full um, set release time in the middle of the season. Should be fun. Those are two other good sets that I like. We'll see how Gypsy Queen, I don't know how Gypsy Queen's going to follow up last year. It's one of my favorite sets from last year, but we'll see. So um, these cards will ship early next week hopefully took me forever to get um the top series two ones out i actually just shipped those today there were so many cards and i had a ton of patreon packs so i think like 45 packages went out today but they are all out so i apologize for a little bit of a delay there but th this one will be much easier to sort so these should get out here pretty quick early next week um let's see what else is on the channel um we are coming up on the end of the month, so make sure that uh, we're doing the fantasy, uh, the fantasy baseball leagues. Uh, there's more cards to be had for certain things for this month, so you guys in the fantasy leagues know about that. And on top of that, what else? There was something else I wanted to tell you guys, um, and now I can't remember what it is. I agree, Shalani. Gypsy Queen. The other one, you are welcome, Bethany. Um, is there any personals available? Um, well, I'm at midnight, and I got to be up at 9 a.m. Actually, I got to be up much way before 9 a.m. I got to be out on a baseball field at 8.30 a.m. for practice. So I'm going to try and get some sleep tonight. But um, what I do need to do, I actually have not updated the personal section on the Discord page. Um, I need to do that because I have a ton of stuff. Um, and I just haven't updated it. So let me do that. We will do personals in the next break. Um, I probably will figure out how to get museum and maybe some more select and diamond, uh, and, uh, stadium club for our next break, but I haven't really planned the next break yet. So I am going to see if maybe I can get one in by the 30th. So we get one more June break in, but we'll see. Um, so with that guys, I do have to go. Coach another, got to go coach the nine-year-olds tomorrow. Shalani is right. A and G, I wish, A and G is normally out by now. I wish it was out because that'd be, it would be a lot cooler if it was. Teresa, thank you for joining and hanging out with us tonight. Um, 
Thanks for being in break one. And to all of you guys that were hanging out tonight, thanks for hanging out on the stream. I know you guys can watch a lot of different channels, a lot of different people break cards. And I am honored to be one of the people that you watch. Um, so, of course, I will meet you guys on Discord. But I am going to hang up the cleats for tonight and look for another break announcement next week. And until then, I hope you have good luck on your personal pack pulls. And as always, be good to your family, your friends, and your neighbors. Have a great weekend, Patreons. Have a great weekend, all of you YouTube subscribers. And we will see you guys soon.